You are now tuned in to the greatest blood clot podcast in the world. You are welcome in advance. Mm -hmm. Leave all judgment at the door. We're here for the jokes. <sighs> we don't do things Another lazy. week. It's the extra great. Another classic. I'm Marlon. This beat goes well I'm with Norm. It. I'm Alicia. And, uh... We back. What up, YouTube? What's popping? Where's my camera? Where's my camera? Is that my camera? Is that me? Are you guys, are you guys taking you. me in right here? Yeah, it's taking me in. Somebody Welcome too. back, YouTubers, mm. um, Patreon gang, Gravy gang. We are joined today by a legend. A great <laughs> intro. <laughs> a great intro? You want? So this has got to be an extra one. Okay, hold on. No, okay, hold on. Let, let me hold on. Let me get in my mode. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> <laughs> now this young lady. Was on trending in sports. Oh my gosh. Trending. This young lady trending. was on Raptors HQ. Raptors <laughs> HQ. This young lady was on Raptors Court Squeak. Raptors Court Squeak. <laughs> she rose through the ranks she of sports journalism. Journalism. The same rise as the Raptors. Raptors. You could say their rise is synonymous. <laughs> It goes hand in hand. It's because She's of her. 2016 was a turning point in her life. <laughs> oh, yes. Just like the Raptors. <laughs> turning point in the franchise. <laughs> I've seen this young lady bubble. <laughs> and I've seen her on the court side. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have one of Canada's top 100 women making Woo! history. Top Kayla Gray is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Kayla Gray is in the building. Kayla Gray. Got Kayla Gray, not black, not brown, but Gray is in the building. All 50 shades. All 50 shades of it. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Finally this, got you on We here. finally... Okay, so it takes a lot of, like... It uh, takes a village. It takes a village. Congratulations, guys. You're five zero, so, uh you. What's called? Selling out Soho House. We see you. We see you. Trying to take. Um, mm -hmm. But when I, when I was finally asked... Finally asked. Oh, 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 is that we do it? It was a no brainer because, as Martin knows, <laughs> he doesn't see me in the clubs. Okay? I, she was it's, bubbling we've before. Been journeying. Oh my gosh. Before we've being been courtside. Involved. Like, I was like, nah, he's been knowing me since, listen, kids. 2000. Listen to this. Carabana does not look, did not look oh, like what yeah. it looks like. You Good don't times. know about horses being trotted out on Richmond Street. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Bring them back. You don't know Barry's boot camp was actually. Something oh, else shit. You don't know <laughs> We're going all the way back uh, So I Lamb say that to along. say We have all come a long way <laughs> Very absolutely. much so But tons of evolving Indeed And I'm just so happy to see it I'm Happy to see you I was you. thinking Very about it today sure. I Very interviewed much. you at um, What was it? CHRY Yeah <laughs> Like in 2015 maybe? Like this guy said, trending in sports, like and that? like the trick, like I'm like, damn, I might gonna need to go to therapy for this because. It's, <laughs> but I'm also, you know, you remember your moments by hairstyles. Yeah. I was like, I was blonde. Yes, <laughs> yes, you were. Damn. Yes, you were. Damn. Yes, you wow. were. Wow. Let me, let's talk. Let's start there. Even though it's a weird starting point, hair. <laughs> because it, no, because it reminds me of the whole Lisa Laflamme story. Yeah. And how allegedly she was fired because she decided to keep her hair gray. Even mm -hmm. though she's a tenured vet, a Canadian icon on television, they didn't care. <laughs> they gave her the boot uh, while she was on vacation too. Apparently, like she was at at a cottage, and they're like, "Yeah, don't come back." I mean, work. allegedly is a great <laughs> word to use here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't want to get sued. Uh, <laughs> I don't also want to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, all of these things happen. Now, nobody do you face really any knows. of that? Right? Nobody yeah, knows. Nobody really knows. Do you face any of that in, in the field? Like, especially as a black woman. Yeah, like I did, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, when I had first debuted, I was the first black woman to host a sports highlight show. So mm -hmm. there, first of all, you get a double slap. Like, woo! Yeah. <laughs> black woman! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. She pregnant! Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> woo! Brace! Yeah. Whoa, whoa! Like, yeah. like, you can't need a little bit of ease It's aggressive you. for them. It's, it's aggressive a big for slap in the face! I'm yeah. so sorry, y'all. Um, so, yeah, I think for me, it's been a big journey with my hair and mm -hmm. especially on television too because when you first come in you're young and you're like I just want to like fit in as much as possible and then you're just like well wait a second I'll never be able to fit in because I'm different anyways yeah, different like regardless. I'm black yeah. like I'm 
But I mean, I'll be honest here because I feel like this is a safe space. I think because I was just so afraid they'd never bring me back because at mm. that point I was freelance. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, let's just like not roll the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let the Scarborough get out of you. Yep, like, yep. Like, you, just, like, you just feel so contained. That's a very black, I, very black experience. It's a very black experience. But then I was like, nah, but that's like stripping me of my culture. And I yeah. remember my grandma called me. She's like, why do you sound so white for her? Oh, <laughs> like, oh. she, like, I was like, you're not even going to say congratulations. She's like, no, no, you sound white. Stop the code switching. <laughs> now I know that Kayla is a very white name. And that's why we named you that, so you can get your jobs. But um, resume name. He needed we're in white Canada. Yeah, we are gray. in Canada now. She was almost Portia, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. She was almost that's Portia. Like, I'm like, all right, Veronica, you want to come for me, Veronica Marshall? Exactly. Um, but no, I started to realize, like, yeah, I need to lean more into who I was because mm. who I was got me to where I am. Yep. Absolutely. And who I am is someone that likes to style it up. I can give you a bob. I can give you a braid. I can give you long. Yeah. Yes. And like, yeah. Yes. There's, I'm, I'm, Yes, uh, I think that's how it goes. Yes, it's a Y A A S. It's a list. Oh, it's a like, yes. So Chloe saw me often, um, but like I don't know. I just feel like I just started leaning into that style because you know what? I think the quicker people started to see themselves on television, and I'm thinking mm-hmm. like of young black women that were like, "All right, she black. Oh shoot, she's wearing braids. Like I definitely can do that." Because mm-hmm. I'll be honest, I was lonely for a while. So I was <laughs> like, "No, come, <laughs> please look. It's okay." But I'm noticing it's happening all at the same time. It feels like with black women in sports journalism, like yeah. there's there's a lot of like a realization that you guys fit in that space. Yeah. If that makes sense. You got Taylor Rooks, you got the, uh, what's the young lady in, uh, the warriors. She, oh, uh, uh, Roz golden, Roz who golden. moved on to ESPN. Yes. You have the, the, the young lady who just did the first, uh, night of the NFL. She's going to be Taylor? doing the, Maria yeah. Taylor. So it's like, it's just nonstop. Oh, we're blackity black. <laughs> <laughs> it's sports, just nonstop. It, sports is blackity black Very right much now. You so. can't stand black it. Black women <laughs> at that. At like, that. Yes. And I love Those it. white men are it. like, ugh, and what, skin is crawling. Honestly, <laughs> like what, what you'll love most is, you know, a lot of the women that you mentioned are from the state. And mm-hmm. because of what I do with the Raptors and being in the States so much, we always have that time to like buck up and kiki and, you know, what do you need? And and literally every single person that you named mm-hmm. and vice versa, when we see each other, it's more so like, what do you need? Yep. Like nobody has time for like the, what do you do here? Or yeah, what are yeah. you doing here? It's like, nah. I know because I've been through it that the reason why you exist here is because you went through some hard freaking times. Yeah. yeah. So sis, this is going to be your space of refuge and rest. And what do you need? How can I support? Yeah. I noticed Sweet. especially that there's like a black universe of sports journalism. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and not even just sports journalism, just journalism in, in general. Like I think even in this city, like when you talk yeah. about T-Rex and Kathleen and uh, Kayla and all the other people who are doing incredible things in this space, it's like you see the black universe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> bubbling like you tell us a little bit yes. of fraternity of you guys have yeah, each other's back been, so heavy yeah we ride for each other and i think it's because we just want to see each other win because mm-hmm. we need uh, people that look like us to see each Absolutely. other win yeah. and i don't want to like be here for 10 years being like if you didn't see yourself you like i literally want my son to be like yeah like, and this is normal yeah. this is so yeah. normal and yeah. guess what he is gonna see that he's yeah. gonna look and be like oh yeah like i grew up with t-rex exactly. like yeah. not to make him feel old uh, <laughs> but just to say like he those are people like these are yeah. people he already just sees they're just yeah. a part of his day to day yeah um and i think too like what i'm learning is the ways in which we push each other is of course we're going to support each other but we mm-hmm. do have that room for back and forth yeah. or change of opinion mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or discourse or what like like i think that that to me is like the safest as we can show like yes we are black but black is not a monolith yeah, yeah. and like i think you get that in the different types of storytelling too mm-hmm. definitely I, I remember the day, it was recently though, you posted about how you were so nervous about wearing those braids one day. I think you were coming back from vacation. Yeah. Or like going to vacation and you got your hair braided. Yeah, I'll, I'll always, always be real about like, the nerves. Yeah. And I'm like, I wish you weren't. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I wish you never had to Even feel of any that. of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I yeah. think like you have to sometimes, like, I think for me, the way that I can show up best is by being myself, right? Mm-hmm. And I can be myself in the boldest of ways. Like I am a strong, funny, better let them know I'm hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I'm well prepared. Yeah. I'm I think I'm the shit at what I do. You, you are. are. Thank yeah. you. I believe no, but I believe I believe that. Yes, yes. You should. 
But I also believe that there is strength in sharing some of the parts in which I don't feel as strong or parts Mm -hmm. that I'm still growing within, Mm -hmm. such as confidence. Mm -hmm. Like, to me, I love dressing. I think that dressing differently and with style and whatnot for myself, it's an extension of who I am as a person. But I'm not going to lie and be like, there are nerves that come with it when I'm doing it on a national broadcast Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with still predominantly white audiences watching. Because you guys have to remember... (laughs) Canada's this big country, yeah. right? And we live in Toronto, so we're like so diverse, yeah. XXX. It's not but the same everywhere. Go, it's not the same when you take a little six hour drive up north. Not even two the hours. Two hours, right? Exactly. Yo, so, I, not even I, that I, I, so I, I go to Saga. with the braids right, right now around like, you three. We're going <laughs> on national television. So, so, so sometimes that does, that does play. Like sometimes you're like, wait a second. Yeah. And I think the more that I name it, the less afraid of doing what I want to do yeah comes so yeah. it's just like i'll just say it to be like bro i know we've all been here and mm-hmm. i know someone that might read it might feel have felt the same yeah but i still wore my braids same way Absolutely. but i still wore them this next day like <laughs> i just think it's important like if i want to be someone who is authentic to be authentic when i'm facing all different yeah. types of things well yeah. it's and it's tough when you talk about like social media like where it's oh. a highlight reel of best moments yeah. right? yeah for me i know especially i can't even cap like it's very hard for me to be that side of vulnerable on social media. Yes. Mostly because I'm like, they don't care. No, <laughs> like, but they don't no, care. But they, they do. do. They, they do. do. Because I see care. it when they other do. people do it. I'm like, uh, maybe I should be more transparent with that <laughs> yeah. kind of stuff. But well, yeah. I just, I'm, I've just been that way in my own life. So I feel like it just translates yeah. to that. I don't like burdening other people with my issues. It's but not, it, but it, it's not burdening. Yeah, it's, it, not it's, even it's burdening. empowering people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your yes. truth is so empowering Mm -hmm. like i look at you and i'm like bruh (laughs) back in the day but like (laughs) but you have to understand with marlon is and i'll give you your flowers and this and the ways that you inspire me is like to see you have evolved Mm -hmm. not just in this like i always knew this was going to happen yeah you You always knew this was going to happen for you for sure but just the involvement of like as a person as a person Mm -hmm. and to also lock in the idea (laughs) not but to lock in the idea that like (laughs) what i thought then Mm -hmm. is not what i think now and that idea to change my mind (laughs) is okay but to start at that base was necessary Mm -hmm. because i get what y'all are talking about over here yeah but i'm here now Mm -hmm. like i think to me like this commitment to your like the commitment that you show and it's not like you intentionally do it Mm -hmm. but it's just in how you show up of like yo this i'm I'm evolved every day i'm evolving Mm -hmm. i think that's gonna inspire like so many black men that look up to you that's amazing like also go on their journey too that's really dope i don't look at it that way but that's if that's what it does then it does because it it, it inspires me and i think too like when I got, are we still playing this rock to music? <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very thematic music for us. No, but I, I, I do hear you on the social media piece. Mm-hmm. Now, like when I got into it, there was a lot of things going on, and especially 2020, which I'll be mm-hmm. honest, is still a freaking blur. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I was oh, working so from much a, stuff. Happened. So much shit. Yeah. So much. Yeah. Oh my god, am I allowed happened. to swear on this? Yeah, thing? I'm yeah. Sorry. Hell yeah. So much stuff and happened. So much happened so to much you. Passion, a lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so much happened to you specifically. And I think that year like really made you more vocal in yeah. things that happened to you behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, I think that's when you became more vulnerable yeah. um, for the public. Yeah, and I think like for me, I was just so tired, like too tired to fu- like fake the funk. Yeah. So it wasn't even a place of me feeling empowered to say more. It was just like my body was like, "No, nah, you just say what's on your mind." At and this so point. many triggers mm. at that and time. And so many and triggers. Like, it's like I'm like, and you know what? <laughs> and and another thing. You while we're here, that email. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Trust but me. I, but I think yeah, like. If you know me, you know I've always been about the things that I've talked about. Mm-hmm. I think the appetite for what I was saying got bigger. But I think from that standpoint of social media where, like, white people were just picking up white fragility. Yep. Everyone was checking on themselves to be like, yo, Kayla, you're, we're, we're good. You remember how many yeah. texts that year I got? We're good, right? Like, that thing I said to you. Oh, about, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, <laughs> if I'm going to use social media, it's going to be about messaging and the things that I want to get out. And then it slowly flipped to this place of, like, Okay, it's going to be strictly business. And it's this really hard dance between, you know, I'm a very vocal person. I stand for what I stand for, but I also have a job. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want people to think that I'm just this type. Like, there's so much layers to you. And so I think from, like, the social media standpoint, I had to, like, take a step back and also go to therapy Mm. a lot. 
And so I started pe- per, um, posting less about my personal stuff mm-hmm. and keeping it strictly therapy business yeah. business, business focused. Focus, yeah. Okay. So if you look, literally, I look at my gram, I'm like, oh, it's all Raptors content or, or sports content. I was in a lot of therapy during that time because yeah. mm-hmm. I didn't feel comfortable speaking on some ideas or points or realizations that I had to myself until I was a thousand percent sure. Mm. You know. So d- that would you say that the the events that were happening during yeah. 2020 is what sparked that move? Yeah, I I think 2020 to me pushed me to a brink of burnout. Uh, I was having some very dark thoughts because mm. I think a lot of people were unraveling, right? Everyone's sharing yeah. their truth. Um, and then, you know, you have to picture like you're keeping your truth to a three minute block. Yeah. <laughs> they fade to black on that commercial. <laughs> uh, you also are running into fear of your shit that you're talking is not going to matter in two years. Hello, 2022 <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, but then also to your like, holy crap, I had 29 years well, I was younger than, but like 29 years of burying so much stuff and thinking that this was normal, thinking that this was okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so now you're taking off brick by brick by brick of all the things in the Case walls that you've bank. built around you. <laughs> <laughs> brick by brick by brick. <laughs> <laughs> the walls around you. And what do you have? Yeah. You know, I yeah. feel like I went on a very deep journey of like yeah. shit. I think that's when Burn people realize who you are, though, like just as a person, yeah. as a whole, because it's very rare, especially in the sports uh, cast or community. Like at most, you're like, oh, that guy's funny. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You don't really get anything past that. Yeah. Like, you don't really know much about Tim McAuliffe's life past that. Yeah. Like, we loved him. If we He's loved him. From <laughs> Tim's the man. Tim and but Sid? like it's it, you don't really get that with Sid, for example, when he started showing his vulnerabilities. Yeah how his trajectory changed after that was completely different yeah. because now it's like, oh, we know who you are mm-hmm. now. You know what I mean? Now I, I feel like, like that was that change for you. So for me, like, I've always been told that when it comes to, like, radio, mm-hmm. everybody says things the exact same way for the most part. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? They'll tell, like, something happened with, Cardi B. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Were you about to say another name? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Ricky Mirage. <Were> you- <laughs> Listen, <laughs> out of my vocabulary now. But um, something happens with Cardi B, and people will like share the same information over and over again. But there's only going to be one you with your experience. Yep. And if you can, even if you are going to tell that story that happened with Cardi, and if you can somehow make it relate to your life mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. share a little bit of details about things that you're going through, then people start becoming not just like listeners, but they become like fans and yeah. advocates for you. You know what I mean? Definitely and yeah. Like, invested. Yeah. yeah. They turn into like a whole different like consumer of the product and they just ride with you for the whole well, time. Well, that's yeah. what happened with yeah, the, the with shift. Taylor. Like with yeah. when that episode happened with yeah. you during that time. Everyone started rooting All for you. of yeah. Twitter rose against <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> rose and, against the but machine. But I love that because you know, not only did it remind me of who I was as a person, like mm-hmm. it was so beautiful to see people I went to high school with being like, bro, this girl walked me to my classroom. It was my first day. Like she's yeah. a real, like it was nice to be like, oh shit, like I am a good per Like there yeah. is good in me, which yeah. I believe is good in a lot and everyone. Um, but I think what I love the most is the consumer got to see how much power they have and still have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even with the news that's happening today, with p- names are still trending. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I think that audiences need to know and like it's scary for me, who's basically employed um, by said <laughs> audience. like because yeah. it's like if, if audience don't rock with you, like I'm sorry, boo boo, like back it up. Yeah. yeah. But I think that people forget the power that they have. Yeah. And so um, I think that when we think about things that we're like, yo, the show, we don't like this, or why aren't we seeing this this game on right now, or why aren't we seeing this show, or yeah, literally, if you tweet it, edit like things will change. Yeah. Yeah, I think people forget the power that they have as consumers because mm-hmm. I think what's happening is we're seeing people minimize the voice, the audience to just like people that will view ads. Mm-hmm. Yep, right. That's not the case anymore. Very bite sized. Very bite sized, yeah. and we're just like, hold up, we're not there yet. Like, yeah. we, if the co- if the content is good, trust and believe people will consume. People mm-hmm. are still showing up for what mm-hmm. them them dragons. <laughs> bop, bop. Okay, let's how talk lo- about it. But how long is that? How long? <laughs> the, how long is the show? 
uh, one hour. One hour. Each. Right. So you can't tell me the appetite for long yeah, exactly. form t- storytelling is not there. It's yeah. always there. Make it good, y'all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. People but, listen to this podcast two hours. People right. be watching this podcast. Okay. And then they still complain that it's not long. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go and watch no. it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also cool, and I'm sure you guys know this too, and why why now I'm becoming a little bit more vocal about my truth in, in um ownership of ips and shows yep. and like with my show the shift is because i think it's important when we start opening doors for ourselves to have our own shows and to be able to hire and make decisions mm-hmm. it's important to let people know the lay of the land mm-hmm. yeah. and the good the bad, and the ugly that come with like for me except for example i had this massive fear of being like okay girl black girl with her own show you best hire everybody black on your show. Oh, yep. Ooh. That's a very, it's a very t- it's real a pressure. Very real pressure. <laughs> yep. What if you don't like something that someone's bringing to the table? Listen, Does I that almost mean said, that hey, you- I almost. <laughs> me and you, podcast P. I almost gave you a 10 there, buddy. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's the affirmative hire but for he Caucasians. Really, he's like, I'm going to still show up in my Birkenstocks, and y'all black people better get good with that. Hey, podcast those, those P. Birkenstocks just killed a fly. Podcast <laughs> podcast is the affirmative hire we do it in reverse here no but i think when you're when you're kind of given the keys sometimes and you feel like you're a first in that space to have said keys there's some mm. levels of pressure that come yeah. with it yep. and i didn't realize that mm. and also what comes with you know people just trying to not like going out of the way to not understand your content mm. that's a real thing um how did you navigate not having to like feel that pressure of hiring only black people yeah, so it just honestly happened. Mm. Like, <laughs> literally, like honestly, the black people is, were just good for the yeah, job. Yeah, like literally, like I think, I think the way that I practice getting people on board and why we do have an all BIPOC staff is I just wanted the best of the best and those that were willing to learn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they all just happened to be people of color. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just so happened. I feel like like a sp- uh, definitely people of color need to have like a, a first look these days yeah. because they've never gotten the first look but for me it's mostly black women where i'm just period like, that's where we need to start if you're gonna start Absolutely. anywhere yeah. it's gotta be with black women totally yeah i think for me like in watching listening and learning wow mm-hmm. <laughs> those those words are very triggering listening and learning right there um we need new words nah, like I look at someone like Serena Williams, right? Yeah. Talk to me about impact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talk yeah. to me about giving a black woman just space to be. Yeah. And my lady was like, and I'll still come to the court and when, when titles pregnant and after that, and yeah. look how long it's going to take you to almost next me off. Like, it's yeah. just like, she's just, <laughs> she's nonstop. She's with nonstop. Yeah. Nonstop she with it. When non-stop. you talk about like the denim, uh, jeans, uh, uh like what's outfits. it called? The outfit outfits. that she had. Yeah. Yeah. Where outfits, everybody's beads. like, how could she be wearing these things? And- but, but to me, <laughs> yeah. and, 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 you know, I was writing something for uh, TSN to like, it's like, you know, the send off when you're saying your goodbyes. And I'm just like, yo, she literally didn't like did not change an ounce of who she was. Nope. Mm-hmm. No, she hasn't. And look at what that has brought her. No compromise. No compromise. And so it also like fueled me to be like, okay, when you look in the mirror, what are your non-negotiables? Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Like you need to have your non-negotiables because her non-negotiables have not only like made her who she was on the court, mm-hmm. but think made about the business. Think yeah. about, think about, you know, how her partnership with Nike. Mm-hmm. And I think people have to understand like it stretches so much more than just like the clothing that came out and like all that dope stuff. But there's literally spaces in which she's like not and y'all gonna get some black creators up in here and we're gonna have like just the ways in which she's she's just she just gets it and i think of her like that lewis hamilton's the exact same way like they walk into a room and you feel that like presence and that gravitas about them but then Mm -hmm. you're like oh shit i understand why she could have stayed with drake but she's like no i want reddit you know what i mean (laughs) she doesn't compromise she wants billions (laughs) billions with me she's like common 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 i can't be with a common man (laughs) That's crazy. I love her husband, by the way. Alexis, that guy is such a real one. That, yes. guy, that guy, when you see him courtside, like cheering her he on, don't play. He it's so not. Hard. It doesn't look play. like it's for show. It looks like one of those people who forgot the cameras there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know he what I mean? Play. Real friend. Doesn't My play. Guy Did you see his shirt t-shirt. with his daughter on it? Mm-hmm. Like, so it? fire. I love it. So fire. And I think to me, it's like that's the bar. Like. Mm-hmm. 
Listen, I'm not dating no man out in these streets. If you ain't going to be one of my biggest fans, oh. take it away. Oh. Because to me, there's a level of shedding of ego that comes with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sh- talk about yeah. it. Okay. Talk about it. There's, there's a, a lot of people of out here with not- partners that are jealous of their partner. Thank not you. many men can handle a powerful woman. Okay. Yep. It's talk very about true. it. It's very Did we true. get to that part of the podcast? Because let me kick up my feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what it is oh, as boy. well? Like, it's it's... <laughs> There's a there's a level of accessibility that yeah. leaves when a woman is powerful. Yeah. Like she's not on your beck and call. Nope. She's not pulling up to any time you need to go somewhere. Like yeah. she has not her needy, own life like, and has her own things own that bag. she's yeah. gotta accomplish and goals yep. that she's striving for. Mm-hmm. And someone that might be putting their career before you <laughs> for once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Men are not used to that. They're not yeah. used to that. Yeah. Because if you think of it, y'all didn't even have careers fifty years ago. Right. So this is like, it's not only a transition for you guys, it's a transition for men right. as well, too. Right. To realize that this is a new world that they're to in. To get and into it. They got to step their shit up to a level now. Especially mm-hmm. when you, it's so funny how like the money aspect is like the the baseline. Like if you take away the money part, men are still like, oh, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> yeah. Please. I swear to God, it just take away the money part. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everything else, you guys could be on Twitter rallying and comparing <laughs> stories. It wouldn't give a, a shit if there was if you guys weren't making money. Yeah. But because you guys are making your own money, you guys uh, they're saying now women are getting divorced at a higher rate yeah. mm-hmm. and making more money by themselves than mm-hmm. they would in a relationship. Like it's it's men have to step it up. We now. learned our, listen, <laughs> we learned our rising su- signs yeah. and said, "Listen, we got the information. We move. We Trust move. Me, oh, man. Man. The worst good. thing women did was find out the moon sign. <laughs> oh, oh, they found out the stars were there, and it was over. Yep. <laughs> Stop. No, but I think that's, that's true. Is and I think for me, like a single woman, out, like out here, mm-hmm. I don't even know if I'm like dating truly, but I think like. I think I have a theory that women miss parts of misogyny. What do you mean? <laughs> the parts where you guys get to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like I don't, to don't you hear about this new era, soft girl era? I love oh, yeah. us, and I think that I but can't I be think... that person, but I'm softly on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm softly but laying somewhere else. No, soft but girl era. A difference. Like I think with soft girl, like the soft life, they just want to. Like, we want to be able to do whatever we want to totally. do. You know what I mean? Like, we still want to be pampered, but still, like, work if we want to. You know? Like, yeah, you don't I, I heard a girl do a home. video about it, and she was just like, oh, um, so I tried this soft girl life thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even my tone. Hey, what is a my, soft my, girl my life? Expl- explain soft, soft girl, girl life. life. <laughs> is, soft girl life is basically, like, a pampered life. A, a pampered life. A pampered life. <laughs> passenger <laughs> princess. She doesn't drive. She, yeah. she gets brought out to get um, get shopping done. She gets massages every once in a while. Takes a but trip like, to find just, herself. To and me, that's, fine. that's just like a type of luxury. And you can do that like still being a very hard working woman or you mm-hmm. can do mm, that. But it's not being, soft uh, anymore. How is that no, not soft? Yeah, so, no, but that's what... That's what I'm not t- saying it for me. I'm saying by definition of yeah. what they're calling soft girl era or soft yeah. girl life. I think they're yeah. changing the definition to I just want to be pampered and mm-hmm. catered to and that's it. And I want to stay at home and take I'll take care of the kids and do all that stuff, but I'm not doing any of the right. extra you know, shit. I feel like they say that until they actually have to Are be in home it. with the kids mm-hmm. because But this is let my me point. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I sit there no, day and I, day. I'm like this is my life. Yeah. <laughs> like, and and like, it's not yeah. it's not bad. I wake up like I feed the baby. We have a nap. I wake up. Like, see the baby. We, nah, we have another nap. nap. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like, I'm not used to it. I'm used mm. to working all the time yeah. and doing things that, like, feel really purposeful because it's of my interest. Yeah. Not that raising her isn't purposeful, but it's just, like, it's mundane. You, you know? know? I yeah. feel, but I'm overwhelmed and underwhelmed at the same time. Totally. Which I got crazy. back to work after six weeks. I probably could, like, I could have waited a little longer, yeah. but I'm like, no, nah, this is not. People don't like not, hearing that, though. Yeah, it's they, so funny how, like, I'm, people I'm, don't like hearing no, but that I'm moms want to break. I'm, the mom, <laughs> I'm not the mom people want to hear from. Mm, and yeah. I'm, oh, you have to get to a point as a person to be okay with it. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I took myself on my own solo trip to St. Kitts and couldn't find my son nowhere. Mm-hmm. He was with his father. People don't want to hear that as moms. Yeah. yeah. And you have to be so, and I'm, this is, this is the year of this, of like, I, you have to be so okay with not giving a fuck about how people view you living your life. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so when we talk so about true. softness, soft to me is, 
those solo trips. Mm -hmm. It's buying the bag. Mm -hmm. It's, um, you know, meditating in the morning. That's something that I've kind of, I have now for myself. Um, finding those those little peaks of joy that I would have said, you don't have time for that. Yeah. You don't deserve that. Mm -hmm. I think where the strength and the softness comes in is all of those things I mentioned, I can provide for myself. Yeah. Yeah, you can. And so I'm like, I'm down to be mm -hmm. in my soft bag, but like, <laughs> I don't need anybody. To, and it's not to say, yo, I don't need a man to provide. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> but like, you can still come and pamper me. Yeah, but, yeah. I, but, but I'm going to still do it. If See, you don't. This is what it is, you know. Right. This is what it is. No, Women are I'm, incredible saleswomen. No, they I have found I'm a way to get rid of all the shitty parts of misogyny. <laughs> and now they're bringing it back just a couple steps. Hold on. We pull you on you. Hold on. No, I'm we talking about. I'm talking about. Yeah, no, no, that's we exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is because it's like you. You take away. Obviously, there's no era in which will ever be acceptable to hit women mm -hmm. to tell them what to do and what, how, when and where they can go somewhere and all these other things that were super normal like mm -hmm. 50 years ago. Yeah, but at the same time. Guys still want the pamper and everything. No, but what's wrong? But what's <laughs> but wrong with that? There's wrong nothing with it. wrong with it. I'm also, learn, I'm also it. learning this too. It's shedding this idea of judgment. Mm. The life that I decide to look to live for myself, I'm so about that. Like when I see other people living lives the way that they decide to live their lives, if that is your truth, yeah, I think I support it. Yeah. Not I think unless I it's hurting know people. I, yeah. Yeah. Unless it's hurting other people, I support it. I think while I'm meeting a lot of new people, there's a lot of people so afraid to live in their truth. Oh. Like, so afraid to live in their truth. And they got all the money. They got all the friends. Mm -hmm. They have all the access. And I'm just like, but you're not happy. They're programmed that way, though. They're programmed that way. A lot of way. people are programmed not to live in their truth. Yeah. yeah. It's when we talk, go right back to the social media highlight reel. You see, it's a pressure for so many people to look a certain way. Yeah. That not th I. it'll translate into real <laughs> Thank life. Thank you, Levi. This belly no, never going to be. <laughs> my belly is never going to be on flat, flat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Trust me, like people, they need, they need others to view them in a certain light. And I noticed there's more of a concerted effort when you are definitely not the thing you are trying to put effort yes. into showing people. Like if you are who you say you are, it's way. effortless. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you don't need to do, put on anything. Mm -hmm. You step into a room, people just know. Yeah. So seeing it as, as, um, and I get it. Like even in the animal kingdom, you have, people that like you have animals that put on a show for yeah, just, to, just to get some pum pum like you know what I mean like <laughs> the peacock out, out here bird dancing and peacock. shit <laughs> like, look at my feathers the look at my feathers like, like they do it it's everywhere so it's like it's not even something that's just us it's just a natural instinct yeah. to impress mm -hmm. impress and um when you get to a certain age and you feel like your life should be in a certain place <laughs> and that you're seeing other people it's worse when you see people younger than you bro doing things that you're like i should be that's it that should yeah. be doing it doing yeah. that like that yeah. should be my life that's when it will start to get to you but you don't know the inheritance that that person got, got or to. even the little thing like i remember thinking something of somebody for so long <laughs> and the dude got into a car accident and got paid dumb amounts of money because a cop hit him Wow. And I thought because I met him, whole time. I'm like this nigga fucking grew up in money. His life is just easy, blah blah. <laughs> but no, it's a certain circumstance yeah. that just he got lucky, yeah. and you know what I mean. So you he never got know. He got lucky again. <laughs> Shit, hit me, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need this leg. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. I want Ooh. one cop to hit me. I mean, I'm I'm about to be thirty, so <laughs> I feel like. It is true what they say. 30? Shit. Everything you're just like, are you sure? Mm. Literally every decision I make, there's always like another part of my voice. But is that you? Is that you? Mm. Did you arrive at the decision because of you or was someone else influencing yeah. you? I'm yes. like, can I just be one of these like floozy doozies to just like walk into a world, like walk into the <laughs> room, like not thinking about nothing or consequences? Like, yeah. damn, yeah. conscience. Yeah. I'm so I jealous. I hate I found of... you. Thank you, Eckhart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so jealous of ignorant people. Yes. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> ignorant so... people, I'm like, there's nothing happening in there. <laughs> nothing. You just vibes. <laughs> just vibes. Like, how do you say no some care, of the things no you do? Concern. No concern. Like, la di da di da. <laughs> like, I want a la di da di da. Those people, I'm like, I don't have that strength. 
There's the people who take on every issue. Yeah. I don't have that strength. I also had to learn to be that person, to not have that strength. Yeah. It's, that's <laughs> mentally draining. Yeah. Like, it's, it feels like your responsibility Everything. at times, because especially when you have yeah. a platform, yeah. you see, people will DM you, yo, this happened, or I'm going through this, or yeah. th- I'm thinking about this, and it's just it like, you, on feel, you, sometimes. you feel like, okay, I have a platform, if I have a responsibility, I, I have to do something, but... Yeah. Not every battle is your battle. But that man. was like yeah. Robert Sarver, the owner of the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> One year suspension, suspension, some changes. He was fine. And, and he's like, worse but than. But also, do you see my tweets? I was tweeting out Darnell Nurse's book club reading book list. Oh. Like, and that to me is like people were like, they'll slide it up. Did you see this? Of course I saw it. What the hell you think oh, I don't, yeah, I don't I see that? I feel bad thing. for you. You know, like, oh, of course man. I saw Anything it. Anything sports related. Yo, you see this? Like, <laughs> they, they, they want to be the first one to give you. You have no choice. see it. Guys, now you I, are, I, I knew you. it. I knew it. I promise you the notification came up on my phone. Anything race related is flooding oh, your my DMs. DMs always. And with the show too. And we try to support as best. But like, I'll be honest. My brother got married yesterday. Like, I'm tired. I'm tired. I Honestly, like I've, I was like, I'm going to fight my battles offline Yes, because fighting it online puts too much of a spotlight on you where yeah. people feel like, oh, that's what you do now. Yes. So that's I'm going to happen to me. I'm just going to push all this responsibility. Yeah. Over to or they're you. like, wait a second. Issues, race. Kayla, you got this. <laughs> You've got a microphone and a camera. You've got it. And I'm like, really? In 240 characters, you're expecting me to solve Tell this. my story. <laughs> like, yeah, no. Uh, I, and I think it's like, damn, it's actually seen as a radical act to sit there and say nothing and go about your business and get your nails done instead. It's, and yeah, yeah no, that's just too much. It's too much. And as a black woman, I feel like online, because black women have the best points to make about yes. certain issues it's like oh well go to the black lady <laughs> like every single time but will you pay the black lady <laughs> exactly. will you employ said black lady See? and then you then better. you get uh screenshotted <laughs> and oh look she wants money for activism <laughs> like <laughs> yes. niggas will find a way man. yes i do <laughs> with that being said you are the first black woman uh to do so many things in your field like the, the mm. accomplishments that you've had first black woman to do them right <laughs> yeah does it feel like a slight because they put the black in there like do you Ooh. feel do you hate being like a moment yeah as I, opposed to just being like just here the journalist like yeah uh for sure it took me a while to like even sit in the first black woman and of course that's how you should be interested inter- you know introducing yourself yeah. to people yeah. right I take pride in that but I'm just like, bro, I just want to be good. You didn't ask for that burden. I, but also, I just want to be good. Yeah. Like, yeah. I want you to look at me and be like, that woman right there, she's solid. Mm-hmm. She comes prepared. She does her, sh- like, she does her research. Great relationships with players. Great storytelling. All of the things. Like, I just want you to look at me and be solid. Because I think what happens is, with this tokenism, is we just throwing people up into the mm-hmm. into the spaces. Absolutely. And, like, and not, people yeah, let's there. just get them there. <laughs> um, we're not talking about workplace safety when they're the only in the space. We're not talking about an actual plan to develop said people. We're not mm-hmm. talking about, like, proper rate, proper paying. We're not talking about sticking to the duties. If I hire you for X, I cannot hire you to be our PR. I cannot hire you to be our Mm DNI on the side. Like, I think that that to me, but also on the flip side, and I'm really starting to step into it more is it's like, I own so much that I'm the first in doing a lot of things and I do it so that I'm not the last in doing said Mm -hmm, things. mm -hmm. And so to me, it's just like, of course, it's been a long journey for me to accept and embrace these things because at the end of the day, I'm just like, bro, I'm just doing my job. Like, I don't think that what I'm doing is so compelling or yeah. impactful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, you have to understand, for me, there's a little bit of, like, a weirdness to it is I love to tell stories. I don't like to be the story. Mm. Like, I just want to tell the stories. I don't want to be the story. But because but the you way you tell it. the story, you become the story. Yes. <laughs> because you, you're bigger than that now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, I, and I'm starting to, journalist. I'm starting to realize that is as much as I push for the audience to understand athletes aren't just athletes. Mm-hmm. Now I'm realizing the journalist isn't Aren't just the journalist. journalist. Yeah. And so it's yeah. like this little bit of a, when we reveal more of them, you almost reveal a little bit more of yourself. Mm-hmm. And if you're going to give people permission to show up as themselves, you got to give that grace to you too. So mm-hmm. I think that that's where I'm at in this journey. That is always, always evolving. I might change my mind about it tomorrow, but today mm-hmm. that's where I stand. But you're also <laughs> like a super, not like you are a superstar. 
I don't, a star. Yes, you are a superstar. <laughs> no. Yes. Look at her being humble. Oh, I love it. You and, are. No. You are. Without a doubt. Without like, you a are. doubt. You're not it may be a, a weird comparison, but like in the same way people love Nardwar and the people <laughs> that he people interviews. People get attached to it, yeah. People love you and the people that you interview. Well, I love them know? so much. So. I love people so much. I love mm. community yeah. so much. And Better so than I, me. <laughs> I hate people. <laughs> no, like, I'm, a, I'm a weirdo though. Like I'm a very like, like introverted person but when i'm outside i think i'm just like it's like energy i like to exchange energy yeah, yeah. Yeah, energy sure. with people but for me like i feel like i'm still kayla that grew up on victoria park like mm-hmm. i just i always am gonna be that person mm-hmm. um because like I, I don't know i was th- someone's like do you ever get like starstruck by anyone i'm like no no. <laughs> I, no and i think maybe that's what makes me so good is like i, I'm like, like I'm I don't care i think i'm looking at people i literally think i'm weird and i'm just like okay like uh, uh, Rolling Loud this weekend. Yeah. Like, I I ended up writing a joke while I was at Rolling Loud. Because I'm just <laughs> like, this is, I, I might be the weird one. They're like, they'll do things like, oh, put your hands up, two hands up like this, two hands up like this. And I'm just like, I'm not putting my hands up. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm right. like, no. am I the weird but one? Because no, you're just a nigga with a microphone yeah, that right. rhymes shit. Right. I'm like, but, like, but that's, to me, I'm like, okay, Kayla, let's unpack this. Like, literally, this is what goes on. Let's unpack. Are you being a hater? That's why I started <laughs> right? writing. I'm like, am I, am I am the drama? Am I the drama? <laughs> Are you me? the drama? And I'm like, am I being a hater? And I'm like, no, I just, I think I'm so like, like, I think everyone's on level, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. And then when you start to meet your heroes, let's say you're, you realize, ah, shit, you fucked up too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come talk. Like, exactly. Right? Either they're fucked up or they're super normal yeah. and don't yeah. think, they're just just like you they're like i'm just alan iverson from down the yeah. way like, i'm not like i'm just not yeah the real ones are like that you yeah know? you yeah. know what i mean there's I mean, the other ones that are full of themselves the narcissists like, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. That's, that's a different story. But there's like narcissists man i rent a who's lot the of worst, narcissists who's the worst that, athletes there's not <laughs> <laughs> give us top three uh, worst athletes to have interviews with you know i've actually been lucky that most of them have been pretty dope this is there's a good. very media trained answer. Yeah. No, that wasn't a very media. No, good job, I would, I would be, I would be, I would be very, I would be fake if I didn't say someone. I'm literally thinking about it. Was there someone? Because I would you say, probably I'll, the say best my, of them, I'll say it with my, I'll say it with my whole chest if if I don't think. No, but that is something that I was gonna say is because they're probably so comfortable sitting down with you and you're being. I don't real. know if they are. They probably hate the new guys. No, because they don't know me, right? Yeah. Like I've been around some players. Uh, for probably six, seven years now. Mm-hmm. So there's a level of like, oh, fuck, Kayla's here again. Like, they've just seen yeah, me so often. Yeah. I've seen them so often. And it's just like, I think there's that level of comfort there. Yeah. Um, and also, I will say this. Like, I'm so blessed to, like, be around a team predominantly where, like, all those dudes rock with black women. <laughs> like, yeah. In a sense of, like, it, like they're, they're very supportive. I think yeah. the players do, it. too. Because y- yes. I'm like, seeing they get the, it. the players give more to the black woman yes. journalists in terms of information yes. and calmness and yeah. patience and mm-hmm. they're, they're not yeah. as as on edge with like some of the white guys yeah, because that they there's talk no to. back there's no agenda mm-hmm. there's no agenda and i think for a while like there used to be this thing of like oh she must be hooking up with so and so if they're right. giving them this piece of like it's like nah like yeah those that that's era <laughs> no. so done like no, at the most done. unfortunately um sports agent women yeah still have to heavily Told, deal with there's that so many stuff. people say this about me all the time i'm like damn and i'm still here shit <laughs> especially if you have curves it's like 10 times worse right 10 times if you're a beautiful woman god forbid working around a group of men like Nobody yeah. can. Or Taylor that, Rook. Remember that? Yeah. Like Taylor Rook, she, I've seen her Twitter and I'm like, this is. Yeah, but like Got Taylor's, to get to her at some point. Taylor, like, it doesn't. It doesn't. That's amazing because, because that, yeah, like these Taylor's guys a friend are of mine. Yeah, Taylor's a friend of mine. And I think like, like Taylor's up here. The people that talk to Taylor are all crazy are like, like you don't have to, when you are about your bit, like I, sometimes I'm like, someone's like, yo, did, someone, did you hear what someone said about you or what? Like, I I'm don't like, have I'm the time. Busy, like, <laughs> li- like, thank God I don't have the time. Facts, facts. I don't have the time. And also too, like, when am I ever going to see you? And likely if I see you in person, you're not, you're not coming to me with that same energy. <laughs> At all. So, don't, so it's like, At all. like you're not coming you to me with that energy. Early, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I think, I, I think that's that, the worst. Is when they hate they to fucking shit, get your and attention. Like, oh my god! Yeah, and it's like, it's, but it's like we see you though. I think too. What I love right now in sports is like, and I used to. I'll, I'll probably get killed for this, but whatever. 
<laughs> okay, if you guys paid attention to Instagram accounts of certain athletes over like the last mm, five, you know, the, the typical athlete, they keep their following count under 300. Oh. Follow all men. <laughs> But yet we see you all in the likes of all the girls. Vince does. <laughs> yeah. And I think what's so beautiful now is like even like I was talking to an athlete. He's like, he's like, no, I'm like so about women and this, that, and the third. Like, I'm like, yeah, but you don't even like follow them. He's like, yeah, because I think where they come from is they don't want it to seem like seem, they're yeah. following mm-hmm. a woman for anything other than supporting them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but imagine if you just did it anyways yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel no, like no and I and, I and I get it because people read into everything. I didn't know Donovan Mitchell took like like it was Twitter that told me Donovan Mitchell had changed up his bio and of course oh, that's yeah. when the trade was happening right yeah but I just I guess I didn't get it and now I'm at a point now where you know and having these conversations I'm like does this mean that you don't like women are you not supportive of women? you don't follow yeah. anyone but they're like no it's not that we don't support like the first woman I follow on my account, someone might think it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah. It's a wrap. Yeah. I got families, and that's the biggest Shade thing. Shade room and yeah, yeah, all types and, of shit. And I think like now it's so beautiful that I'm like the, the you know people that I talk to, they're just like, now nah, we're just gonna do it anyways because we're we just support and rock with. Mm. And like you just never like I'm I'm very fortunate to be around people that are soup that they get it mm-hmm. that yeah. told like that understand it. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Like I like Black Eyes just had their premiere, and Black I was thinking. Black, black ice. ice. Oh, I was like, black ice. What? And I, I know you that walk that you, red you, carpet, you, girl. I was walking that red carpet, girl. <laughs> um, but, you know, all a lot of the guys um, that I'm friends with that took a part of the film, not that I'm friends with all of them, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, you're friends with, with, no, with like, you know, one of them that's, like, super important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm dying. Um, I love watching her try to be humble. It's so cute. You know, it's so cute. No. <laughs> you know he's this guy. He's the like pro- the boy is or he something. Like a producer of sorts. <laughs> <laughs> producer of music, maybe. No, but like I like not to say that I ripped apart hockey, but I have put hockey in question. Mm. And so sometimes when you start meeting hockey players, you're like, oh, I if you. I don't be clear. It's because of love as yeah, why like, yeah. I want these stories to be Facts. told. And, you know, mm-hmm. and I think it's like, it was, it's been great to like have players be like, nah, we got you. We understood you. Mm-hmm. And then you start to realize, well, why don't other people get it? And maybe mm. they're trying to go out of their way to not, not get it. Like, not get it. Yeah. Mm. We talked about the, the black hockey players that started the, well shaped how the NHL is. Okay. Yeah. Like what two years ago? I can't even remember. Ago. I can't wait to see this documentary. It's mm-hmm. so good. I can't wait. It's These so good. Be the put on notice. Start I will it? get that information for okay, you, cool. but soon. Okay. It's so good. I'm so happy that the story's been told because yeah. you know what? As we always know, and I was watching the woman kid, and I felt this for myself. It's based on true f- story. Like it's based on a true story. Like, um, woman sometime, king? yeah, the woman kid. Yeah, woman kid. Yeah. It's like basically on like this tribe that was like all women warriors and like and you're just like that could have never existed there's no way we were that empowered but you know when you watch something and there's like something innately in you that was like nah this is this is truth yeah like this yeah. is the truth like when you read history books in school and you're like nah there's some pages missing mm-hmm. i think with black ice what it does is it lets you know that like mm-hmm. some pages were ripped yeah, out some pages were yeah. ripped out yep. for sure goaltending is the way that it is because of the colored hockey league the mm-hmm. slap shot the That's skating, the sl- skating in general. Is the, it, white people the- were standing in place like golf. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> like niggas were not body yeah. checking. They and were I, so skating. So I, I just love any film that reminds us like, yeah. All we did this. We did this. Us. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Who done it? Oh. Us. us. Once more. Uh, so yeah, I think that that's that. We're going to find out black people invented oxygen one day. You're going to find out Jesus <laughs> is black. I'm going to come for that. <laughs> hey, we already did, man. We already did. We're going to find out, man. Black, black really. People. They've been calling it the white yeah. man's air for years. Yeah, I, I, I do not subscribe. Black man created creation. Uh, so. I mean, <laughs> and the seventh day was black. <laughs> or is it a black woman? Ooh. Ooh. God, that's, They're ooh. not ready for that. They do say that black women are the only ones that can produce any eye color, yeah. any hair color. It's uh, what is it? The gene? What is the? Oh, I the cannot, goddess gene? The goddess gene? Is that mm-hmm. what it's called? Yeah. I hear it. I believe it. It's great. It's great. Um, <laughs> What else do we have to get into? 
Did you go to Rolled Loud? Anybody? I you did. did. You did? Everybody I did. went. I fake went. <laughs> oh, you just went to the Lotto Max. I thing? was there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Alicia was at Rolling Loud. <laughs> Bro, I took I my little granny my job. ass. <laughs> I was like, she don't know none of these like, niggas music. <laughs> right. I was like, who? Who is? Like, mm. How did you yeah. find, uh, did you go all the three days? I lasted 20 minutes. Oh. I went on the Saturday. See, as soon as I posted. Yeah. Shh, yeah. 20 minutes? <laughs> 20, yeah, because I went when the thing happened. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was the there when that fake shooting happened. Yeah. It, um, <laughs> and it was it, at the VIP lounge, yeah, which is... Yeah, it was very weird. Okay, so what was funny was... Uh, no, not funny, but whatever. Um, we were waiting for Future to come on because Roddy. We got there when Roddy. Rich, Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, went on the <laughs> stage. I know who Roddy Rich is, guys. The box guy. One of them. <laughs> yes. So, anyways, I went to go get bedazzled because there was a bedazzling station. Yeah. Oh, cute. So I went to go sit and get my gems done. And then people start running in and it's like, you know, this is why it's like when you come from a certain place or like you, you just start running. Like, but I'm also like, why y'all? I'm just standing up in the motion like, why are y'all Facts. running? Facts. We stood, we were right in front of it. Me yeah, and my friends. Like, and we were just standing running? there. They said that it was a it was a shooting afterwards. Alleg allegedly, Alleg but like we didn't hear anything. Like we're no. standing literally right in front of that VIP section. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the I music was, that that was I there. Said, said they didn't hear in the shit. bedazzled booth. I was like, I think we would have heard it, guys. Yeah. The music was dumb this? loud, though. To be fair, like yeah, they had true. their own. So the loud club is basically. Uh, Elevated VIP section. I saw that. I'm like, one of these girls about to fall out of this. Yeah, yeah that, those, those rum, barriers rum, rum. are shaking. Heavy. Well, because yeah. the, you were there at day three, right? Yeah, yeah. So that, yeah, they had already moshed them up day two. <laughs> <laughs> I was standing there. All of a sudden, I I just see people jumping over the the railing. No, right? and people are running. People are jumping over the railing. You see, um, Central C and his people ushering him out this one side, and then all the artists Commotion. start going out this side. Ruby Commotion. Rose is running down. Like I'm seeing all this happen, and we're just standing there. Like just, I'm like, just don't even move. just don't move. Yeah. Just don't move. Because when people see three people running. 20 people start running. Yeah. 100 people start yeah. running. It's going to be a stampede. Just yeah. chill out. Yeah. yeah. So we stood there. Chug a wall real quick. You see cops come in, like, rolling loud, first of all. They had A1 a organization. That's what I was saying. That's a why I'm not, I'm not willing to boil the weekend down to the 20 minutes that I experienced it. Yeah. Because from when I walked in late... From when I walked, everything seemed incredibly organized. Incredibly they were giving organized. me a whole map with a legend. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah. the way that they locked off uh, Lakeshore Lake with Shore. all those uh, porta potties, potties and yeah. stuff like that. All the police friendly. The police friendly, they, police friendly, friendly. I was listen, like, they, oh. they, I was like, this is how you put together a festival. A festival. Like, you could tell that not only did they. They've obviously um, planned this. everything mm -hmm. very well, <laughs> but you could tell people definitely showed up on site yeah. months before and, yeah. did and the proper scouting. Out. Because yeah. even the VIP section, when you're talking about the smallest bit of elevation, but it made the biggest, the biggest difference, difference in the yeah. world. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even like you, the elevation. You can't even tell if you were be walking to the general audience section. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell that you went a little bit downhill. So everything in the VIP side is elevated, but like you're on the same yeah. parking and like space. There was everything. space. There was room. Yep, I wasn't yep. feeling like you didn't feel like you were pushing up to get no. Like I was, you were comfortable. Yep. The wristband getting into everything yeah. was every very easy. And also you, for me, like I, I'm, I think I'm becoming a concert snob. Mm, yeah. I've gone to a few this summer, same. and concerts I've gone to aren't hitting too many. In yeah, my life. concerts yeah, aren't what they were, kids. She yeah. says at her big age. Of three. <laughs> Nobody story tells anymore. Nobody gives us transitions. Mm -hmm. Nobody rehearses oh. anymore. Everybody's performing nobody, over their back. Over their back. Wait, tracks. nobody it's, uses like the little ear. It, it, it nobody. Like, ears. Ears. My and is, is, and I'm so like, this is what. Beat? So to me, I'm not gonna. Lie. I go in skeptical for a lot of these things because I'm like, people played their hard earned money to watch you perform. Yeah. yeah. And you're not even gonna try and come with a little like, mm -hmm. you know, back in the day when DJ Khaled and I nothing. won't link nothing. No this is my that's my not biggest issue with artists, nothing. especially younger artists. And like I always tell oh artists that are just starting out, you're it's, gonna be leagues ahead if you find out how to speak in between songs. In between yeah. your songs, that is the biggest difference. I, oh I can my I cannot know who you are. Storytelling and see. Mm -hmm. I remember I went to a Sir concert mm -hmm. and Tmar opened up for him. I didn't know who T-Mar was at the time. She's an artist signed with Issa Rae's um, label. She was the first artist signed under Issa Rae. Incredible R&B singer. Mm -hmm. 
She's singing. I, when I walked in there, I was like, okay, this girl got a nice voice. Mm -hmm. In between now, she's like, I'm sorry, y'all. I got a cold. My shit sound crazy. Okay. I know y'all. <laughs> I am so sorry. And I, she was just so funny. And in between every song, she said something funny, like, mm. or did something funny. And I was just like, yo, I'm, I'm going to look this girl up. I started mm -hmm. in the concert looking her up her shit. Yeah. Not because she sang well or the music was good, but because I just liked her as a person. Mm -hmm. right. And if you're not going to show yourself That's a part of the on stage, exactly you're robbing people of the experience yeah. mm -hmm. and you know there's artists like beyonce don't talk i don't think i've heard maybe beyonce would have She'll say can you hear me whatever she's, so she's more but but, but there's such a reverence of but there's a show. reverence of like let me tell you something would i say i'm the biggest beyonce stand no mm -hmm. okay but when you go i've been to a couple of her concerts and what do you hear just the mixing just the mixing from song to song you're just like oh shit like there's not so one second serious. unaccounted not for. Not yeah, one yeah. second unaccounted. You know who was like that this summer? Kendrick. Kendo. Yep. That, yep. Ooh, well, that was well he's, he was on tour with Beyonce at yeah, one point. Yeah, because Kendrick was so like. he's seen. He's seen oh, what. How we he's do been it. on tour with mm -hmm. Kanye and Beyonce. And Kanye was the first of his kind. Yeah. And name. No. <laughs> but Kanye really brought rap and performance together he when it came to brought it to concert. a different level, man. To a different level. There was nobody doing it. I always talk, I always tell people about that Yeezus concert. It's the greatest concert oh. I've ever been to. When that man freaking stage rose up and it turned into a mountain and it, and it started snowing on us, I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no one's no beating this. Way. This nigga had Jesus come out. He's rapping yes. to Jesus. I'm like, this is, is this too... It, Anybody who tries something after this is too late. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's give too late. the people mm. what they want that they're not going to get from the album. Otherwise, I'll just stay home. Exactly. Yeah. And there's very few, especially when it comes to rap. Like, that's my one thing with going to this festival. I'm like, these guys are all rappers. Yeah. I hate watching rappers because they usually, like you said, have nothing to say. Nope. Um, have no showmanship. Don't change up anything. Rapping over their actual lyrics. And are just giving you orders the whole time. Yeah. Wave your hands, I just, <laughs> all this other shit. And Me, getting mad at you if you're not doing did, this. I think shit. I saw a video yeah. of someone yeah. cussing at the crowd. It was, and, uh, well, sweet. rightfully so, Toronto was being very Toronto. Uh, <laughs> I, uh. and now here's the thing. There's th there was two sides. There's the people standing on the VIP that look at it like, man, everyone's just chilling. Yeah. But then you see the people that were actually inside with the cameras and I'm like, but it's hype inside. Mm, not really, because uh, that's why the artists were cussing them. <laughs> I mean, Lil Skies was on stage, and granted, there were some moments where it was um, the artists and the organization's fault. So, like, um, certain people had to be replaced because they were late. So right. Lil Skies had to go into somebody else's spot. Oh, they're not playing about, they weren't playing about time slots. They weren't playing. And so <laughs> if you're not there, the we drama. got somebody already here locked, unloaded. <laughs> And so Lil Skies went up, and nobody was expecting Lil yeah. Skies at this time. They're expecting, like, Roddy Rich or Presser. I can't remember who it was. And so at the same time, like, people are coming to see their artists. So if Lil Skies is scheduled an hour later, yeah. Lil Skies fans aren't here yet. Yeah. <laughs> so now he's rapping to people who aren't his fans. Yeah. Especially and when it's something like we're that. We're here for Wiz Kid. Multiple <laughs> stages, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and, like, it's, Toronto is... Toronto. It's not <laughs> like America. America, these guys will turn up to absolutely anything. Yeah. I've seen it. Toronto, we came here for, for one thing. Yeah. I want to see that one thing. Give it to me. <laughs> I want to see don't give it to me, I'm not moving. And <laughs> he started cussing at that. That's the worst thing you could do is cuss the audience. Because they ain't going to move faster. Cuss the Toronto audience and we're extra. Now we're going to fold our arms. <laughs> you never heard about Screwface Capital. <laughs> like, huh? no, that's no. exactly what happened. He started cussing. Arms folded. <laughs> Niggas start getting, niggas start just talking shit yeah, about him yeah, around yeah, me. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh shit, it's, it's a wrap. But one thing I did like to see though is that, you know, there were people turning up in, I'm so used to people being like, yo, impress me. But there was a section of people still turning yeah. up. In pockets. Well, and there's I'm a like, lot of people on drugs. And, and it's also like, this <laughs> yes. is new. Like, never has there been a festival like this yeah. in Toronto. Where all eight, like, ages from 18 all the way up to 40, 50, we're still rocking with it. But yeah. we yeah. need mm -hmm. to, I think this is kind of like the light tap. Because one thing that I struggle with is this. I love our city so much. But there are certain moments about our city and things about our city that I'm just like, come on yeah, like yep. do better do better you're not too cool <laughs> yeah and i think we cool, need more man. festivals where it's Just like live. you're not too cool live your damn life it takes time it takes time it takes because time like, with, it's a mentality like you said on a, like 
on a culture level that yeah. people need to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I experience it whenever I go to Montreal where people aren't there just to be there mm-hmm. for the sake of being there to say they were there. They're there and they're actually experiencing it. They're living it. They're, oh, Montreal. Let you me tell you something. Saying? All of us, we going up to uh, F1 weekend in Montreal for the Grand Prix. Grand Prix? Mm-hmm. I will be there. Because when I, I was, tell you I, I got there. invited to parties with a billion, like the big B billionaires yeah. and them people yes. had shoes off, gown rip yep. up, Yo. Yo. Yeah, mosh, like, <laughs> They were having big it's a West Indian mentality play. that's over the city. That's what it is. West that's, Indian mentality has I was taken over the city. The, yes. That was, yeah, that was no, I'm t- they, they're like, they're like, okay, so like, I hate this thing. They, but they know how to like enjoy life. Yeah. yeah. Like I get it. I understand. Toronto, we have our standards, and that's what makes us us. But at the same time, it's like, let's celebrate who we are as people. I actually think that the younger generation, so people who are under 24, they're going to bring partying back to a different level. Yeah, they're changing. They're changing. What clubs? If if they get to have parties and stuff Ah, like that. What the clubs? I already see it, honestly. Because the way that some of them party, like the younger ones, they just go and have fun. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I can't hold them. like the underground scene and stuff like that. And they just like vibe. Bow and just like have a blast. I think it's like our age range. We're where the we, last of the Mohicans. Yeah. I don't. I don't necessarily think it's our age range. I think it's it's reflective of the music. Mm-hmm. I think it's it's always reflective of the music, and the music's always reflective of the times. We were going through some weird years <laughs> for mm-hmm. like the latter half of our party career, if you want to call it. So like, especially when you think about dance hall, you remember how dance hall was a staple, necessary uh. part of partying mm-hmm. in Toronto. Yeah. yeah. For at least seven years, there's no dance hall in the club. Yeah. Like true. you'd have to go to a dance hall party to, to hear a dance hall music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you'd have to bl- just leave the city at least mm-hmm. yeah. to go to like but Saga that's or Brampton like or somewhere. it's different than the States. Because the States, they're not playing dance hall. They don't know who they vibes is. can turn out. Depending on where you are. Remember but, this, but the you thing are. is with the States, for example, okay, so we went Put to your Detroit in it was and the first we did time they're about slow jam Yang, party. Like. <laughs> and so the States, for example, back that ass up comes on. Everybody knows what time mm-hmm. it is, yeah. right? Stepping music comes on. Everybody knows what time it's it is. It's ingrained song. in them. Yeah. They, yeah. they know it. Toronto's so young yeah. that we still expect so many things that other people have worked hundreds of years to maintain. <laughs> we are so young. Like, when you think about when black people actually got here, got here. Yeah. Like, our people. 70s, late 70s, early 80s. That's when we got here, for real. That's, what, 30, 40 years? We ain't shit. <laughs> we ain't shit yet. You gotta give us some time. And, like, I'm seeing, especially when you talk about the music, like, um... A my piano seems to be the new like reggaeton or mm. like the new dance hall in 2003, four times where like you're seeing the Afro beats and that stuff take over and people are starting to dance again. Mm-hmm. I'm going to parties and I'm emceeing and people are dancing. dancing. Yes. And I'm like, this is chef's kiss. Like <laughs> and, and even the biggest thugs when I love, yeah, 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 yeah. These yeah, are, yeah, 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 yeah. And then when you see the mashup go from a soul cutter to ch- dance hall to Afro. The diversity yeah. we right have. Back to some Rise. random like old, yeah. some rock, classic rock and roll out of nowhere splash in the middle. We can't, you can't and do that in what? everywhere. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Like yeah. only, and Toronto's DJs are elite. Okay. Yo, they need to bring back Shuffle. Oh. Shuffle oh. Was Yes, you remember Shuffle? Shuffle, Shuffle was, was a time. Two DJs on either, either side and you're just going back and back forth. Back and forth. Oh. And it was like, no, it was genreless. Yeah. It was like, I love parties where I can't I don't know what to expect. Yes. And for th- that's another thing. For so many years, it was like you go to a party and you're like, I know what song's next. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know it's they're going to play. Tony Braxton about to walk on the floor. We get it. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me. So it's like we, we are, it's def- definitely reflective of the music yeah. and what music's going through. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, we're so young. Like, yeah. We're so, just, even what I always compare it to um, when the Raptors first got the Raptors and we were still in Sky Dome doing games <laughs> and people were clapping for our team shooting foul shots instead of being quiet and quiet for the other team shooting foul shots I mean they didn't people didn't understand can I be culture. honest they didn't understand the culture I mean I think of we've gotten there but you know when you go to Philadelphia let's say yeah. that is a fan base that knows basketball oh yeah 
They love the game of basketball. How long have they had basketball? Right. <laughs> we still love our team. Mm, Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. Sometimes, so when like some like something happens, right? Ref whistle blows. You hear fans cheering. You're just like, did you guys not see what happened? Like, and yeah. I love, like, I think we do have the best fans in the world mm -hmm. yeah. because they're the best. The reason why they're the best is because they are big fans of the team. team yeah. Yes. yeah. Like, how many, I don't even know how many people in this city know whenever they walk past that Loblaws on Carlton what they're walking past. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> like, do you understand the first NBA game? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In our city. That's where it happened. Yeah. Like, Things like that should make you go like head over heels, heels yeah. for the sport. I love, I lo like, I I think that it's wild one that I covered this team having grown up with it. But like, to me, like, there's this massive push of like, okay, we gotta stop looking for validation. And this is every industry, right? Yeah. Like. And I think too, sometimes when people hit me up in the DMs, cause this comes to me, why aren't they talking about the Raptors on ESPN? Or why aren't they talking? And I'm <laughs> they like, say that. I'm just what? I, I hear you, I get it. Mm -hmm. This is a national team, all of the things. But if I broke down the business to you as to why you're not seeing as many ESPN games. It's like, numbers. It's numbers. It's also, yeah. they don't, they're, they're not allowed to get Canadian rating and apply it to theirs. Yeah. It's literally that simple. Ouch. Yeah. So the championship run, when y'all were watching us on, yeah, oh my gosh. Yes, I guess I'll break down that business. So <laughs> Raptors winning the ring, right? We Canadians get that number. Americans can't apply how many Canadians watched it yeah. on but their why network. Not? So they they can't it's because it's different because it was on TSN and Sportsnet. But it's people. <laughs> it's people watching no, at the end like, of the day. But it's not. But the, the okay, broadcaster so was not. It wasn't broadcasted on their channel. Okay. okay remember, remember how I told you guys how with radio there was that little thing that you could carry around and it like picks yeah, up. Mm -hmm. the it's the same thing for TV, right? Mm -hmm. And so because we are in two different places, they they do it similar, but it's not the same like machines and stuff That's like that. That's so weird. Yeah. So like we own like for Sportsnet and TSN, we own that content and we numeris owns that little box but they don't have access to it yeah. you know so it's like we and can so we can tell you numbers for, for advertisers yeah. and like that stuff yeah so like for the parade right mm. nine million people tuned into the parade at some point that day espn ran the parade but they can't tell you that nine million people tuned into their like yeah it doesn't yeah you know what i, I mean see what you're saying. right so when you break that down <clears throat> to people then maybe they get it's it. It's like, what's the interest for them? Right. What's, what's, <laughs> where's what, the game? Yeah, like, where's the game? Yeah. They so can't maybe, monetize. Off there's still a business monetize, at the end of the it's day. It's still a business at the end of the day. And I think when you explain that to people, then they're like, oh, that makes sense. They're not just actively hating us. Yeah. Well, they, yeah. they kind of don't ever answer to it either. <laughs> they're kind of just like, oh, fuck Canada, <laughs> like, every once in a while. And they shit on us. Like, the I think it goes past the... Yeah. TV the, personalities shit on Canada all the time. But that's because the they're not the educated. The thing, it's not... It's I don't even one. think it's like necessarily <laughs> like... Because um, it's easier to shit on a place that you don't know about than actually sit down and do some research. True. Well, that... That's even like show up Well, once. that... And yeah. if there's no gain for them, yeah. it would be in their best interest <laughs> to say, oh... Kawhi doesn't want to go to right. go there. They got yeah. no black yeah. people in Toronto. <laughs> when they right. say those things, it's like, where is that coming from? But now that you've explained that... Like that makes so much more sense because I'm here thinking these niggas hate customs. <laughs> yes. Listen, I was like, is it customs? Break, breaking customs, news: tax. We all hate customs <laughs> exactly. at this point. Exactly. No. <laughs> Facts. No customs. If you're watching this, we do hate you. Um, <laughs> it's yeah. I didn't no. Say that. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're so I love you, man. I have, nah. I have my we're, do, we're doing a, uh, a we're getting a uh, <laughs> Alicia's a pum pum uh, button on here for every time she I tries to check it out. I literally have my Nexus interview in like a month. I love y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. Okay, uh, no person, baby Bishop. I um, want no problems. <laughs> back to rolling loud. Uh, <laughs> Yo, for I wanted me, to say something oh. about the uh, the shooting incident, right? Mm -hmm. I heard that the reason why it wasn't detected, because they had uh, metal detectors literally everywhere. Yeah. It wasn't detected because it was a 3D printer gun. <gasps> and that is becoming very popular. There was like an oh. article somewhere that this is becoming very popular. And they shoot like real guns, yep. but they're the 3D, 3D printed. printed ones. And they go undetected. 
So that's why it can't. It went in because you had to have to a get clear in. bag to get in. Uh, there's there's ways. I Listen, mean, if, I, if I want to get a gun in, I would honestly just put it in a side pouch and dash it over to my boy <laughs> to, once he crosses the metal detector. <laughs> I looked at that security and I'm like, yeah, this the is the secur- most that yeah, they can no, do no, for no, outdoors. The, the security. Yeah. I'm like, this is the most that they can do for outdoors and. The best thing that they did was make sure there's not one black person that was actually security. It was all, it was all, all brown people. Indian people. <laughs> with absolutely no ties. They, oh, they're like, oh, they hate the blacks. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's put wow. them in there. Uh, wow. But yeah, wow. no, uh, the standouts for me in terms of performances, Central C, with the Doja Cat performance was Amazing. humongous. Mm. Uh, Pangs. With the national anthem of Canada, Griselda Blanco. Griselda Blanco. Crazy. Um, Pressa. Pressa had a really good set. Pressa? Tori's set was packed. What okay. I mean. Really? The, Somebody I, said it was I didn't that was at see that many people. Right? The, yeah, the, yeah, okay. I never seen that many people in one section the whole weekend. Like, wow. It was rammed. And he went ham with his energy and all that stuff. Did he crowd surf? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Of course, did. he did. Um, well, always crowd surf. It's so interesting <laughs> like, to see him, like, you see them, like, take it. off their diamonds before they do it and, like, get <laughs> prepared going. to not get robbed. I'm like, in. Um, YG, also, who brought his mom. Um, shout out to him. I mean, that must have been really dope to see your son, yeah. Jana Finch, like, uh, people are screaming his lyrics at him. Like, that's it's amazing. Shout <laughs> tried, out to him. He tried to get everybody to say fuck Moolah. But. And they, it worked. It got like yeah. eight people to say it. Eight. <laughs> eight. The rest but you, like, can't, you can't nah. do that to Moolah, dog. Nah, Moolah's my like, guy, you know. That's <laughs> a, yo, I was so mad when they took him off Rolling Loud. I was mm. so mad. But um, it's so funny. After the, the shooting thing mm. that happened, um, there's, <laughs> so it felt like I was in an Atlanta episode, honestly. <laughs> I was standing there and... See people jumping over, jumping over. Cops. I'm talking like 60 cops in 10 seconds. Yeah. They're running over three motorcycle cops, fucking SWAT team shotguns, AR-15s. They, were they? they were hiding out. Where were they? They came through, stomped through, like, and cleared out that whole area so fast. And while that's all happening... One girl walks by. She's like, oh, oh my God. She's like crying, bawling. She's like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. And while that's happening, I see this black kid walk past and he's got a vlog camera. He's like, yo, they try to get Pressa, yo. They try to get Pressa. <laughs> he runs past. I'm like, what the fuck's going on right now? <laughs> I see this same kid. He runs back. He goes in front of the cops. Um, cars or whatever and the cops are like batting up people pushing people out the way now <laughs> and this kid's just back there doing the nay nay like ah. I'm like I am in what a different I'm in black mirror yeah. right now this yeah. is insane things are different I was like this is nuts it was so wild uh, man but how was future future was future he, okay. to me he's not a good performer All right. um, well. he showed up when he felt like it yeah. it was like about an hour and a bit oh, yeah, maybe yeah. about an hour late Uh, And yeah For me Artists don't know Their best songs Ooh Artists do not know What people want to hear In their catalog In a a concert And it's not even A subjective thing I mean just as Like A fan of the artists You're not playing The songs that Majority people here Want to hear People were walking around Talking about it All Mm -hmm. weekend Like Tori went up Played some bullshit I'm like (laughs) I heard three songs that are like your actual hits. I didn't hear the T-Pain one that what? you had. Jerry Springer? There was no Controller remix. Like none of Whoa. those big, love? big songs. No Love, no um, uh, Say It, any of that. They want right? to like, really? their agenda is to either push like the new stuff, new music, you know what I mean? Nobody wants to hear that fucking no, no, music. And it doesn't work. Time, Nobody wants to hear the new music. Yeah. If it's not a hit. Nobody like really knows it. Like even that. You know nobody, know? Can, nobody. I'm telling you, even worse, nobody, nobody wants cares to, yeah. to know it. <laughs> nobody nobody cares wants to, know to hear the new music because they cannot rap. You know, the I got to new shit. No, we don't. No, we don't, we we don't know don't that. <laughs> we don't know that. Like nobody came. It, oh, it's so annoying, bro. It's so annoying. The Americans, for the most part, to me, shit the bed. Um, all the UK artists turned up. Amazing. Oh, RD, UK artists. H. Unknown H. T. All these people, they just went ham. They went really well. Um, Bia had a great performance mm. as well, but she then she went on Twitter and said we had trash weed. Like, if you if you bought it at a dispensary, <laughs> I mean, just say that. Who did you go to though? <laughs> if you bought it at a dispensary on Queen Street, just say that. <laughs> just say that. Um, but people were complaining about how far the stage was apart from each other, and I'm just like, what? How do you think 
festivals work? Do you yes. think they're gonna it put them side by side yeah. and, never, yeah. and sound, hear both yeah, music the at the same time? To together, okay. The organization was a one yep. to me. Like the way they separated everything, mm -hmm. the the space that like there was a moment where everything got really packed in this one walkway, and they literally. 20 seconds later, security guards came, opened another yeah. side, and was like, you guys can go this way now. And yeah. it was like, freed up in like 30 did seconds. You, I'm like, like, look at contingency plans. Right? Pass. You seen the <laughs> walkway this. over the water? Over the water, that's yeah. the one they so opened up. So when I like was coming down the bridge or whatever and walking, and I was like, holy. Crazy. I was like, when was this there? They yeah. built it. No, they, they, they built, built that it. Shit. They built that I bridge. I was like, yo, that makes sense because that one walkway getting in and out of uh, whatever it's called now, Budweiser stage is ridiculous. Like but coming yeah. out of the Drake one, I'm like, yo, oh, I really God. felt like I was a sardine. It's like, the worst. I was like, when you get to that one spot before yeah, you yeah. get to the gate, it is the worst. And it's smart because when something like that happens at the Loud Club, police have yeah. a separate entrance yeah. or security have a separate exit yeah. to get to places and like you don't and run into Kingston I hate, Fest problems. I hate when you have places that it's like one way in, one way out. But, yep. It's because then it's like that as much as we purposes. yeah, as much as we think we're big, mm -hmm. Toronto's not the best planning like we're not we don't have the best plans in place for no. the volume of people in no, our city not yeah. at all do you know what i mean not yeah. at all people aren't accustomed to it and no. i feel like especially coming out of the pandemic it's like everyone forgot how to throw events right <laughs> and you know what it was it's also a lot of the event teams are mm. like no more people have mm. found other careers in they the had, meantime because there were no events right or they had to cut people you know that yeah. too they had to yeah. cut a lot of people a and lot of people got laid off because it was like okay we're not making money from live events so why do we need you guys and so, so yeah. much inexperience uh is now like what mm -hmm. you're just witnessing with all these events that are just going <gasps> how many just people crazy. how many people do you guys think went each day Ooh. What do you think is the average? I was trying to do the math. I was, I was Honestly, up there looking. I'm like, what, what do you think? 50,000 50, people a day? 50 yeah. stacks minimum. Wow. So, so let's Didn't say, they say let's was 500,000 expected to go? I don't, I don't doubt it. But let's people say 50,000 yeah. a day. 150,000. How much was each ticket? 400. 300, 400. At $300 a ticket, let's just say, at 150,000 uh, 50, people a day, which is 150,000 people for the weekend, that's $45 million they made off those numbers mm -hmm. off the weekend. And that well, argument of people were selling. Oh, every, every, I remember people like, oh, everyone's selling their tickets. Rolling Loud is not the event you can buy. Because what happens is people are just going to buy, buy, buy tickets, right? Like yeah. as if like the bots Budweiser because they're like, there's only a limited amount. Yep. Yeah. Rolling Loud has it so that there's actually no like, limited limit. amount. Yeah. yeah. They're going to have so, so, so you, they much. can have so much. So people were just like selling them at the end because they're like, ah, shit. <laughs> yep. Our plan to profit. They, they're not going to, they're not on These some, people did not have a limited amount of seats. That's how you yeah, avoid yeah. bots and yeah. uh, the whole reselling business. It's it's nasty. Yeah. It's nasty out here. Um, Speaking of nasty, Chromas. Ah. Um, I think I walked by her at this Black Eyes after party. I think she looked like, okay. Huh. It looked like her. She was at a Black Ice. Well, there were black people there. No, but she's not black. <laughs> well, there were black people there. You're not getting what I'm saying. Wait, was it the black ice or black It guys? was the black ice after party. <laughs> she was there for the black I guys. Heard that too. I heard it, it was black was ice, but no, she was there I for the black guys. The first no, time I heard the black saying, guys. No, I saw, I think I walked by her coming to the black ice after party. Yeah, but she was there for the black guys. <laughs> I did not say that. Don't put this. I'm I said not, it. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be on six how was her event? Hi! Why are you guys trying to throw shit at me? And you never know at me! You never know at me! You never know at me! You never know at me, bitch! Toronto first fucking lady, stupid! Stupid! Hi! I didn't crack so on, that your, was, uh, on your ad lib. Like, that, that was the majority. <laughs> oh, this part. You can't forget this part. Getting her. Getting her toes sucked on stage by some insect. Yuck. Look at this guy. No respect. Who are your parents? Oh my god. Uh, no, for real? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's what happened. Um she she I mean, we predicted this. We there's a clip we we brought it back where we were talking about the performance and what we expected. No, but what did I just see? And it was ten times worse than what we expected. It was. I knew it was an outrage performance where like 
Rolling Loud likes to do this thing where they'll bring one person that they know for sure. <laughs> the blogs are going to pick this up. Like, they're going to get them. And Chromos was that person. <laughs> um, and it worked exactly like gangbusters, exactly how they thought it would. And um, she, uh, yeah, people were throwing things at her while on stage. Mm -hmm. They she were, was. They had all these like packets that were they were giving to the crowd for like energy. It was like water food. So or something. they needed energy to watch her. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, they were opening up the packs and just dashing Dash at her them? so that it would oh, splash no. on her. Oh. Yeah, that's I mean, really Toronto's nice. first lady. That's not, that's <laughs> not nice. oh. When did I first learn of Chromas? I mean, this is what happens though. Like uh, she, she did yeah. this. Yeah. Like, let's be very real. Like, I would like to feel sorry for you, but this is not unwarranted. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Unfortunately. I don't know. I have, like, a tough, this is the, are you being a hater moment, Kayla? Mm. I just didn't know who Chromaz was until, like, I don't know, last hey, year. Listen. I didn't know that music was what she does. So, to see her on stage, I guess there's a part of me that's like, oh, that's great. Like, she's she's on stage, but yeah. I don't maybe know the backstory. Well, she's made songs um, calling Meg the Stallion a horse. Yeah. There's, oh, those, oh, there's those songs. <laughs> the rest of her songs are literally just incoherent, um, just gibberish, just really just talking about anything she can yeah. i don't know how someone can still be out of tune with auto tune. <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> okay. it's, it's really impressive bad. it's, it's impressive so bad. Okay, no but so like are people are there people sorry to interrupt no, are there people ahead. that actively are bad just for the attention is this one of those people no she's not bad she thinks she's really good okay yeah i was told one time from somebody that works in music they were like yo if she just because you know she's spanish mm -hmm. and she used to do all those like dance videos of like bachata and whatever else yeah. if she just stuck to her spanish ways and like try stop trying to be black a black ting mm -hmm. then she would be way more successful oh, yeah and labels would actually be able to uh, yeah. sell her and she would actually have an amazing career because like Chromas isn't ugly. Like no. she's pretty. Clearly, she's. Like, That's she's the reason really, why she even has yeah. a somewhat of a career. <laughs> she's really pretty. That's her saving grace. Yeah, <laughs> she got her body done, and it's. Great. She didn't right. know. That's Look that's the it. reason right. why she has all this uh, fanfare. She knows her ass. Well. I'm pretty sure no. her ass. Wow. Is her wow. ass is definitely not fake because it's not big. It's not that big. <laughs> it's Listen, not big. bigger now. It's she, not. I'm telling you, okay. you want to see it right here in the video. I feel like it's bigger now than what it was before. Nah. Okay. <laughs> her, Listen, if anything, I, I think like it's shrunk. Did. Listen, if it's her boobs done, got bigger, it's but it's not she looks great. She looks great. She looks great. And so I'm just like, I don't understand why she wants to cater to something that's just not working like just give it up and like do the spanish thing and fucking flourish i think like, you're just not used to a girl being the soundcloud rapper that's not good <laughs> <laughs> we don't re it's we, a very new thing never seen this not yeah. work out for somebody. whenever you saw a woman doing music back in the day yeah. they were good right because yeah. there's no like i could just play around with this like yeah. you knew you had to be Better two times better than the guys. Yeah. yeah. Now the the accessibility and the entrance, the barrier to entry into music is so whatever that anybody can produce. And when you have a girl who, especially when I I notice is a thing with um, the hot girls, mm -hmm. is they always transition to music or personal training. It's all, it's just a side <laughs> thing <laughs> that is attached to their sexiness yeah. in some yes. sort of way. Yeah. It's, a, it's a sexy adjacent, right? <laughs> and with her, all her videos are just her shaking her ass, mm -hmm. just pouring more into the looks thing than trying to develop a craft mm, yeah. and become better. And I but think if, if people realize that, no, but I, th I think if people, say for example, if she was getting better, yeah, mm -hmm. I think she'd have a lot more fans regardless Mm -hmm. of if she did black totally. or spanish or whatever music because people are like oh she actually cares about this mm. like it's not just like a thing to get money but it just looks like she wants attention and money from this I and that's it i also heard that she's very smart and articulate usually people who usually do shit like this are very, are very intelligent yeah. <laughs> very smart they just don't know where to apply their skills you know how many drug yeah. dealers i know could be fucking ceos of like yeah. fortune 500 companies they just don't know where to apply their skill set and mm -hmm. they fall into the wrong lanes like i don't know where she fell into it at some point mm -hmm. during high school but <laughs> god bless mm -hmm. i mean she's gonna have a day where she wakes up and realizes this is very temporary or like mm -hmm. uh remember that one time i got my toes sucked on stage <laughs> <laughs> listen she's done more with her toes <laughs> <laughs> this is very real i see a, a video jerking off a nigga with her, her feet 
That's oh like the first gosh. thing that went viral yeah, from her that I saw. <laughs> I was like, what? Well, who is this chick? Why is Why did I stay why the whole two hours? And I'm like, <laughs> Coming up next on TSN. There's part, of, there's part of me now that's like, oh. damn. Yeah, you you got you to gotta, uh, interview the athletes and that went through growing us. <laughs> no, don't say that. Not, not I mean, I think it. she not already not has. Not <laughs> well, and let's see. Let's find out. Oh, oh man. Um, Bring back shame. <laughs> That's just the lesson here. Bring yes. back shame. That's a it's, reoccurring it's, theme. Reoccurring theme on this show is bring back shame. Mm. Speaking of shame, Queen Lizzie is dead. <laughs> Jesus wept. Why did I say this? <laughs> <laughs> Queen Elizabeth, second of her name. So do we get Why that? Jesus but, wept. But, but the most Cousin important. of her husband. <laughs> do we get the holiday? <laughs> do we get the holiday, though? No. Uh, we do not okay. actually get the Dougie holiday. Dougie Ford decided that we didn't need the holiday. Instead, we just need a day to mourn and educate ourselves. And educate. So they feel like the students need to stay in school so they can learn educate. everything about Queen Elizabeth. Oh, like when we I say hope everything. they do learn everything. About <laughs> when they say everything. Listen, Queen, everything means. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth's movie is going to be like Elvis's movie. They're going to leave out some parts. Yeah. Well, that's a crown. Isn't it? Well, no, the crown. I don't think they really sign off on it. So no, they, they the crown is like winning time. With the, yeah. they're like we have nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Johnson's Queen Lizzie. Damn, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Okay, so it's a day of mourning. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. That we pay for. I'll be rolling up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be rolling up twenties <laughs> in their honor. Yeah, we're gonna get new money. New money. New money. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that weird? Why weren't we uh, like? I don't understand why we're getting new money. Should have been seeing Terry Fox on a bill. Like, <laughs> but why are we getting new money? Like the other guys aren't dead too. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> understand. Did she expire? No, I guess we just need some type of money like that has head of state who or the whatever. Who we putting on it? Rule. Yo, it's it's like, ever like, it's, it's King ever Charles. It's King Charles. Yeah, King Charles. But there's no. You gotta have a contingency plan because how old is King Charles? Oh, that uh, nigga on his, wrong, like, he's on his final me. chapter as yeah. well. That so, <laughs> so then who, we gonna have the baby out there? No, 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 no. Next is his son, William. Oh, William. Yeah, Ugh. He's the oldest. Yuck. So. <laughs> William, and then once William then passes, two kids, then and two kids, and then the uh, when big does guy. Harry get a damn pill? It's Harry's two kids. Out. It's he two kids after after William that are. Next to succeed. No, it's no his William's kids. kids. George and Will whatever yeah. the other one's kids. Two kids. That's what I said. Two kids. No, he has three kids. Oh, no, but it's two girl, kids that they showed boys. on the map. There was like a thing they put on the news where they showed like who would be next in line. And it was Who's next? William, his two kids, and then Harry was the next person in line. And then another kid was after that. I don't know who the kid was. Duke Archie? of Sussex or some like, shit. Like, everyone wants to talk about, like, Harry getting the short end of the stick. I think he's in the best position. Yeah, I man. want nothing to All do with y'all. I want that Iron Throne. Like, no way. <laughs> throne <laughs> of lies. <laughs> I seen a clip from an interview that he did where he said uh, Meghan Markle was thinking about committing suicide. Mm -hmm. How she didn't want to, like, live anymore. Oh, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't um, want to live either. she was six either. months pregnant at the time, mm -hmm. and he was talking about it. He was like, this is history, like, repeating itself. Because he said his that his mom similar. was um, actually dating somebody that was not white yep. at the time yeah. of her death. Mm -hmm. And he was like, like, they're going to not stop until Megan is dead. And he was she, like, at, he can't afford to like lose two women that he loves so much wow. that because was of like yeah. the the British media, mm -hmm. paparazzi, and also the but whatever the we can be clear. British media and the royal family are all one and the same. They are like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Walking lock and step. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> nothing goes out without without approval their approval, and, their and, say so. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, with him, what's so great is that he is so vocal about it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, I'm always going to ride for Meghan Markle. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. She could be like, not the nicest person. I don't care. Everything in her, <laughs> in, everything in her life care. points to the complete opposite. opposite. It's like you're talking about someone who's a humanitarian before she thought it was a thing that to be right. a, like to be looked at as a person. Like she was this genuinely kid videos of her yeah. where she's like 12 years old fighting for rights. Like this is not something new or something mm -hmm. she's putting on, which the British media and the British people who are racist mm -hmm. and don't want to admit it would love to assume or let you think that that's what's happening when you see this this woman out here hugging people and shit like i'm pretty sure the fact that 
her husband is who he is. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'm of the elk that no man marries a woman that doesn't remind them of their mother. Period. Yeah. 100%. And we know Oedipus what Diana's complex. humanitarian life was like. It was nonstop. It was without oh. compromise. And it was, I, they don't like me, but I, I'm going to do it anyways. Like, like yeah. listen, this is what it I is. think that's why we all rock with Diana. She's like, we're like, look upon liberation. Trust like, me. That was a liberated woman that was about her. By the way, he's like, I'll race and dust all the moms at these, at these <laughs> yeah. events. Like, and I'm a date. I'm going to live my life. Yeah. And I'm going to have my little shortcut. And y'all are just going to flow with it. Like, yeah. The, yeah. like, she seems so secure in who she was. And, of course, mm -hmm. it's sad that, like, you think about the backdrop and, like, what comes with it. Mm -hmm. But, like, I think that that's the same for Megan. She's like, no, nah, I'm not going to fly out. Yeah. Yeah. First thing on what plane for who and for what? Yeah. yeah. They don't fucking rate me. For right. what am I, what am I even, doing? Y'all don't even like me. Y'all don't even like me. What are we doing? <laughs> you don't like me. I you don't like, like my kids. So what am I racing out to be yeah. here for? I feel like that, uh, the reason why black people connect with her so much is because we relate. Yeah. We relate to being the the one that's standing out and a minority at the, the same outcast. time. Yeah. The outcast. You know what I mean? And she embraced it so much and she was dating, dating. I love it. At the this. end of her life, she was yes, dating, dating. Yes, because you need to. After she the black should, dress, she, like she didn't play no games. Yeah, she, she was, was very young. Was a baby. Like, but like she was dating, dating, as, like because people kind of forget that she wasn't a royal growing up. No. People kind of forget that and held her to that standard, even though when she was a royal, they didn't want her to be a royal. Mm. It was like, you pick can't and shoot. Like, you can have it both yeah, yeah. ways. Uchi, while you're one mic, is, is it she's a royal or she's not? And if you're going to hold her to that standard, then why weren't you treating her like that before? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And now that she wants to adventure out and find happiness <sighs> outside of the castle. But because she gets clicks, she was Kim Kardashian of her time. She was Marilyn Monroe of her time. Like, that was the it girl. Mm -hmm. Woman dressed like her. Yeah. Like, it was all. I could never stand in a no frills line and not see Diana on a tablet. Right. It's Absolutely. impossible. Even it's impossible. to this day, she's still on the tablet. Still, yeah. to, this day, <laughs> to this day, she sells. Her this face ring bells. Almost, like, yeah. 30 years. <laughs> you know what I mean? She has iconic interviews like this. The amount of things. Uh. She's like Tupac for white people. The <laughs> amount of shit she accomplished in her short time yes. here and the impact she left is like, you can't measure it. Mm -hmm. So it's like that bun them skin <laughs> because they like to stick to themselves and be all fucking culty and, and present perfect. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's like, we're not all perfect people. And she was not afraid to show that. And I just, it, for Megan, like I remember seeing the funeral picture where she's wearing the Ooh, same thing. She wore yeah. the same dress. And I was Ooh, like, yo, <laughs> you got, that's, a, that's a Diana thing. Like when you talk about the black dress that she wore and how everybody's like, yo, like that's Shady. the same. It's a, sa it's a subtle shade, the yeah. subtle, Absolutely. witty, clever shade that you can pull off. Like, yeah, I'm going to show up to the funeral, but I'm going to still show up under my terms. Under my terms. And y'all still going to know how I feel. I don't need to say it. <laughs> y'all still going to know, know how I feel. Don't shake my hand too tight. Y'all know what it is. That I shit love was that. amazing. So that means all the co Canadian coins that have the coin on the back is going to be gone. I don't know. I don't gone. know what's happening. Phased out. This is just a plan to bring us to a big society. I also <laughs> think this would be a great time for us to to distance ourselves some. some. Oh, yeah. I but mean. Will we? Yeah. But will we? It's not going to happen now with Trudeau. <laughs> that guy's yeah, a weirdo. Yeah, but, but it's very interesting because I had to take myself off of Twitter that day because this one's going in. <laughs> I mean. Jordan Hales, shout out to him. I don't fuck with colonizers, in. you feel me? Right. I had to, I had to and give I'm her. just like, I'm laughing at all the tweets. I'm like, am I a bad person? <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible. Yeah, no. But no, it's like obviously twofold. Condolences to the family, like whatever, whatever. But I'm black. It's, yeah. it's I'm very Jamaican. rare that like, you I'm could. I'm sorry. It's very rare that you can have that moment and also yes sis like lived a very full life you know what i mean yeah like she was <laughs> very old too full was, too full her mom lived to 100 and something mm -hmm. her husband lived to 99 like yeah. she lived life they, like yeah, she it's lived okay life. she's okay to pass away yeah like, and a lot of people are like it's oh time. well think about all the good things she's done it's like yeah but there was also I some can't. bad in there and i can't yes. i can't think look of all the, good the things. great things she could have done if she would have just put up her hand look at like, yemen no, this is wrong how can i be good <laughs> and uh, this is the worst part how can I be good when I look at the list of places colonized <laughs> and 98% of them are black? <laughs> what, what happened to Russia? <laughs> All them places you couldn't colonize over there? Mm -mm. I look at it, it's Papua New Guinea. It's, it's Cayman Islands. It's like, it's nonstop blackness. South yeah. Africa. Nonstop. Really? And it's just like, okay, this was, 
it's it's different if like you were the first power and you're like i'm gonna conquer the world mm -hmm. and i'm continued. gonna get the world but no nah, i see a branding issue here yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm seeing a concerted effort in one direction yeah, yeah. and that is where i'm just never gonna have any sympathy for yeah, you I you're hitler in my eyes yeah it's interesting how canadians though are taking it is they're like wait a second we never knew we never knew black people felt this way like my god what <laughs> it's it's the it's you know what it is it's uh <laughs> it's a weird comparison, but it's, I feel like it's accurate. It's the holding the fork. I always compare it to that whenever white people start to do this shit. <laughs> so, like, you know how there's a certain way to hold the fork? Mm -hmm. And if you hold it another way, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Why are you holding the fork like that? Mm -hmm. I'm convinced that never happened until they saw black people holding the fork <laughs> a certain way. <laughs> and they want to they wanna elevate themselves. They're always constantly trying to elevate themselves and bring them to a, a place of class that's, oh, I have more etiquette than this person and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> It's the same shit with this this uh, royal thing. Mm -hmm. They saw the minorities going crazy, and it's like, oh, we can't be like them. No, no, no. We're better than that. Mm -hmm. Look at what the queen has done. It's our queen, blah, blah, blah. Like, fuck out of here. Speaking about the fork, so I'm trying to read uh, Cicely Tyson's... Cicely Tyson. Mm. Uh, auto... R.I.P. Whatever it is, her book. Autobiography? Yeah. Memoir? <laughs> I don't know what it is. A memoir or something yeah. like that. And in the first chapter, she talks about some play that she or a movie that she filmed or whatever and so she was on the press tour and i think he was in philadelphia some white man was in the media like media seats whatever and he stood up and he was like you know watching this film he, he was like i seen the the black guy like the father or sorry the son say daddy to his father and he was like my son calls me daddy and i just never knew that like black people call <laughs> their dad's daddy paul and she said <laughs> she just like i had yet. a like long pause and was just like well i'm thankful that you came to this conclusion <laughs> like y'all say daddy i didn't even know y'all had daddies this like, is this what? is it this and is why was like what like and it made her realize dissonance. also that new york and la isn't the same America as in like other places. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But this is why seeing LeBron James and his family in the Vanity Fair oh, thing. What a shoot. <laughs> what a shoot, man. It was beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. But also, yes, but red velvet cake. We eat that too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Should have had some casserole on right. this. Right. Like, we yam that to brunch. We do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, gowns, Crazy. we do that too. Yeah. Like, yes, more that's imagery. So Even seasoning. See, you know, that's why white people don't season their food. There was a time when they wanted to ele to distinguish themselves from the working class. Mm. And seasoning was one of the ways. They're like, we want food to taste how it tastes. Mm. And that's our elevation. Oh. And that's why white people don't use seasoning. And wow. still don't? And still. <laughs> how about oxtail? Remember that conversation? Oh, uh, I don't want oxtail. Oh, okay. It touches a Remember when they didn't want that either? Now yeah. look. Now look. Yeah, look at the price. Mm. Sickening. The Sickening. price is ridiculous. Answer for your crimes, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I've never had oh, oxtail. <laughs> yeah, the fact that they sell bone marrow now, like it's like. It's the, wild. Have you ever had oxtail, Patrick? <gasps> no, don't put Patrick on the spot. It's too late. It's too late. Patrick, we're going to change your life next week. Next week Patrick, on Patreon. Wait, but he can Only be, on Patrick, Patreon. Patrick, are you vegan? Or vegetarian? Oh, you don't. Oh. Next week on Patreon, <laughs> Patrick, Patrick try. tries Patrick Jamaican. Try We're going to do a whole <laughs> Jamaican series. <laughs> We're going to do a whole Jamaican series where you just try Jamaican food I love for the that first Patrick time. said, I'll try anything. <laughs> <laughs> that man eat ass right there. That's an ass eater if I ever heard one. We yeah. love man. <laughs> Patrick I'll being that booty. <laughs> Why do you think his nose is so long and slender? <laughs> <laughs> Him Podcast P, the podcast yeah. staff for poop. <laughs> <laughs> that nose make him aerodynamic when he eat. I see you. I see you, brother. Oh, perfect. Patrick's uh, not perfect coming boss. back. Y'all ain't gonna see Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, man, the queen is dead. Um, now y'all got a king that's arguably worse. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I seen a little video of him trying to sign something, and his pen wouldn't work. So I hate this bloody thing. <laughs> he just he went to he turned straight Dumbledore. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was so funny. The first time what he sucks to is work? that we probably have twenty years of him. <sighs> mm, he's not lasting that long. <laughs> 
I his don't. dad and his mom lasted to the yeah, but there is Nick. I don't think he, I hope. I hope he's gone in a couple years and then just <laughs> oh like William, God, Alicia. and then William can come through. She's like, I hope this nigga gets and, deleted. And, and you want William? <laughs> oh man, yeah. I don't know about William, man. I don't, I don't know, know about we any don't, of them. but if we have to get through these people, do I still we think, I still do think we? William's the one that called that little baby the N word. <laughs> right. For sure. As soon as someone said it on the interview, I was like, I. I bet, it was I, bet, I bet it was him. He wants really? to be his daddy so bad, bro. Oh. That and his father berates Harry. <laughs> like it, I've heard, he ver- verbally abuses this man. Like that's part of the reason why he's so like he distant that, from his he family. Said that he did it to both of them. That um, one thing I guess Harry didn't respect about his father is like instead of saying, "Well, these are the experiences I had mm-hmm. growing mm-hmm. up." So these are the experiences you need to have. Right. Like taking a stand and trying to teach their sons better and correct things so that their sons don't have to go through the same trauma that he went through. And he was like, he was like, I don't fuck with that. Yeah. And he just so. seems to be way it's a royal more tradition. of a looser. Do you think they have canon. therapy o- over there? Yeah, but I don't think it's <laughs> therapy that the poor is. poor therapists are like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't think it's a, a like, a, it's the guards. you walk in there, you the say what's going to happen, yeah. and that's not leaving the room. I don't think it's that type of therapy. Right. And I don't think, even if there was that type of therapy in there, that I, as their son, would believe <laughs> <laughs> that that's that type of therapy. It's a lot of a uh, spoon to the cup happening in that. A lot of mm-hmm. yeah, a lot of that. Speaking of spoon to the cup, um, <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to laugh. <laughs> I don't want to laugh because I don't want to know what the next thing you're gonna bring up. And yo, I laughed. So like yo, oh god, <laughs> if you got stranded and robbed in Jamaica, right? <laughs> what would you ask oh. for? <laughs> In terms of help from the public, say like you say okay, like <laughs> like say like for Why example, okay, watch this, watch I'm this. No. Say like you lost a couple hundred in like recording equipment, yeah, right. But like they took your passport, <clears throat> your way home, yeah, your cash and everything. What would be your next move? Hmm. Like, inter- obviously, you got to reach out for help. Yeah, you got to reach out for help. Put on social media and be like, yo, I was robbed, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'd go to the office to get my passport back. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. But, Absolutely. like, the, you're still in Jamaica. Yeah. Okay. There's, they got, a, like, a Canadian the consulate. consulate. The yeah. consulate. Okay. Yeah, you go right. to the office and you say, I got robbed. And would they they'd give it to you for free? I think no, it comes they with have cost, to issue. But they have they to would issue have to issue one back yeah, for free. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, but that's right. like step one. Your passport's step one. like the most important thing. You'll most have to pay thing. for a new passport yeah. eventually. Yeah, but yeah we have no give cash. You, but, yeah, mm, okay. they give you clearance. They give you something so you can go get back. And would you ask for like help from the public, like? If you had like friends, like a GoFundMe, for I, example. I would go friend, family. Friends. No, but GoFundMe for what? It's funny you ask. Go no, GoFundMe for what? It's funny you ask. To replace um, your stolen items. A laptop MacBook Pro, $2,500. <laughs> An iPhone 12S. Can we look up a 12S? Does is that, that a phone that exists? Yes, yeah. it does. It's a 12S? Yes. yes. Money okay. to rebuy all these things? $1,200. JBL speaker, $146.84. <laughs> oh 84 goodness. cents, by the way. I need, I need that 84 cents. <laughs> Apple AirPods, $600. They're not six hundred dollars. They're like two fifty. Oh, okay. Six hundred Jamaican. No, two of them. <laughs> two of them. Oh, two pieces of Apple AirPods. Is it? No, it's just. Nah, it's I just one. She probably want two. She probably want two. Oh wait, hold on. There's more headphones. Sign has a headphones. Mm-hmm. Um, one hundred sixty-two dollars, eighty-three cents. I need the eighty-three cents. <laughs> oh wait, there's more headphones. Sorry, my bad. Uh, Beat, Beat AirBuds, one hundred thirty dollars. Nah. This sounds like a scam. We got to do better. Mm, interesting. <laughs> right, $209. Manocaster. I don't know what that is. $169. 49 cents. I need the 49 cents. <laughs> KSM 313 Any Microphone. Bought and used at $1,000. Yes. Yeah. Seagate Backup Hard Drive. $146.89. I need my 89 cents. <laughs> Yeah, these are all necessary. passport. One hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, the passport now is coming <laughs> yeah. in. Oh, the, now, now, <laughs> now the passport's passport. coming in. Cash. <laughs> this was my favorite Who wants part. To say it. I know. Fifteen though. Cash. Four thousand dollars. Canadian dollars. Stop. <laughs> Four thousand dollars. Ticket home. 
$650. Extended Airbnb stay. What did we say? We say we staying further. Extended. <laughs> $1,800. Total, $12,865.05. Is the... <laughs> Is what on that list is the responsibility of the no. public? The public. <laughs> Nothing. No. <laughs> Nothing. That GoFundMe account still exists? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, it exists. GoFundMe. <laughs> and Wait, it's being and funded. They're no, funding. People are there's actually putting it. Giving, no. When, oh. I checked, oh. when I checked, there was 3,500. Oh, no, when I checked, it, it was 4,600. Yeah. 4,600. So the, the day that it was up, it was 3,500. Somebody gave 600. They yeah, really love that. AirPods. They're like $600. They're re- they really love AirPods. There's your AirPods. Listen to me. $600 if AirPods. Ro- if you get robbed. Can we look up what those look like? Six hundred dollar AirPods. Just type in six hundred dollar AirPods. If you get robbed, okay, I, which obviously it's a very serious crime. Feel so sad. Yada yada yada. Okay. Oh, if I you wish get you heard robbed, the story of the robbing, and you need to go on GoFundMe to get K. all of these items back. Why are we traveling with these items in the first place? Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, she, the person went there to decompress and ground themselves. That doesn't sound like they decompress and bring in a MacBook Pro. Mm. I guess they have to work to you eventually. I mean, that's so what? I don't okay, know. Run me the story. Tell it's me. It's weird story. if you're decompressing and grounding yourself. And you're going to work? Decompressing. Are you telling me this is what I got to do to get me a new laptop? Oh, they're gold they're plated. Gold. Uh, so, okay. Uh, I love my stupid people. Stupid little me. No, but I love my people. I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> I if dumb. I saw something like that taking place in Jamaica, the first thing that comes to mind is a scam. Nobody got robbed. Mm. Did somebody not get robbed? We don't hey, who know. Knows? Who, knows? who knows the truth at this no, point? No, but like. I, I should also point out this is not the first time this person has been scammed publicly. No, ah! this person has been robbed. No, publicly. this person hasn't scammed other people. Well, we don't know that. He's. <gasps> He but, or she? No, but I'm saying also he, they've been allegedly. They've, this person has also been scammed, and it was like oh. on CBC. It was like a big thing. Oh, is this a it usually is a yes. big thing. This is a true yes. story. Are yes. they from Toronto? The yes. person who cried wolf. Oh my god! Like I don't know if person? it's cry wolf. I don't want to say. Wait, wait, wait. So, I don't Do want to say people didn't person? get. Do I know this? What I know this? I mean, person? a lot Maybe. of people would, which is why I wouldn't. You know, Hold I wouldn't want to say any names. Did this like person that. get catfished? <laughs> I don't know. Did this person? It's not Manti Teo. No, it's uh, no. Did this did this person fly somewhere for love and get left in the parking lot? Oh no no no! <laughs> not, not that, that person. person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Edit this part. Oh my god! I don't want to get sued. Continue. <laughs> you know. I'm trying to do math right now. <laughs> I think you need to uh, take a wild guess. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> hey, yo, this is actually going to be exclusive, 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 exclusive. <laughs> We're a premiere, premiere, premiere. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> They're still laughing. That was. Eh? Po- oh! <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you just had to take a second to think about it. Yo, I'm no, so conflicted on this. I gave her the answer. It's so unfortunate because like, I feel super conflicted on this because this person, like, for the time that I knew them, they had my back. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they, they put me on for certain situations. And I'm a forever grateful for that. But when I keep hearing just for the years. Same story. <laughs> just the same story from people. And I don't know you that well to be like, nah. Never, I cannot. Like I, no. at the end of the day, it's a work business relationship. Like, but let me ask you something. When you were working with this person, at any point, was there a feeling? Um, Did you ever have like a mm, something shifty? Um, no. Wow. I, I'll say that, but also, so did the people who got wronged. <laughs> <laughs> so people are great actors. People are really good at making people feel comfortable, and I can't put anything past anyone. I've been in situations yeah. where I've lived with people who've robbed me. So it's like, yep. I, I, it's hey, I've been in partnerships where I've lived <laughs> where, where people have yeah. robbed me. So it's like, not like romantic partnerships, because. <laughs> 
My ex, I still know where his ass <laughs> exactly. lives. But I'm just saying, yeah, I've been in partnerships where people have tried to rob me. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it's like you think you know people and you think they mm-hmm. have their your best interests at heart. Like well, they you don't. have theirs. And they don't. They don't necessarily they don't. do. Shady, and shady, shady. Like when it comes to the point where people, like some of my friends see just a picture of you and it's too much. <laughs> like that's just There's too, like, it's, yeah. it's triggering yeah. on that level. You've affected lives in a way that like, I don't see a group of people that I, especially that I know and trust. Yeah. All lying about. Yeah. At what some point the done. truth's going to come out. You know what I mean? And then when you start seeing patterns, it's like, I mean, two plus two is four. But <laughs> also like, here's what happens with liars. Right. And I think we all have, we all tell lies to ourselves and whatever. Oh, yeah. It's um, sometimes when you get so good at it, you mm-hmm. almost become more brazen. And bold. Six hundred dollars for some headphones is some bold shit. But they're gold plated, though. But that's not a hat. That is is bold. Hey, listen. Extended stay. Take yourself home. She's honestly treating it like, like, like everybody in the. That she's asking money from is an insurance company. Yeah, like, you know when you like, you no, like okay, flex. So this, like I lost this in a I fire. Lost this yeah. in a fire. You know, okay, yeah. but like, okay, this is a this bad is insurance problem with the whole situation is that you go to Jamaica for an extended stay. Yeah, first of all, like you should really be buying travel travel insurance. insurance. You know yeah. what I mean? Buy the travel insurance. So there's that. Second of all, who like, robbed you? Well. <laughs> Who knows? Oh man, the um, story is so oh, like who knows? God. Hold on, let me see if like, I can find a story. <laughs> you are asking the I feel so weird when certain people ask the public for help, you know? Like you don't have savings at all. Right. And listen, to get to get the necessary things. Yeah. You know to what get I mean? the necessary things. The necessary things. things is your passport, your flight home. Yeah. Your if you do need to stay, mm. because they're saying that they need to stay, like the Airbnb extended stay, um Why so do that they need the to document stay? for their passport can come in on time, right? Right. I have just so, too much pride. So, no, 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 <laughs> but for the, those things, you should have savings. Yeah. So that you could potentially come home. Listen, or have she had the savings in her hand is 4,000 Who cash. Is Who's walking 4, with 4,000 She's got a huge wallet, guys. It's, it's called big... credit cards. It's called like <laughs> money I orders never, or whatever. I would never, tra- like, I, I'm Jamaican. I would never travel nowhere in Jamaica with no cash on me. I would never travel anywhere never. with like a hell of cash. Uh, do you, you think as a Jamaican you would know that, right? And that's yeah, that. like, but also too. Okay, this listen. Is, this I'm is speaking from a place. Raised, I'm, eh? Yeah, but I'm speaking. I'm speaking. From, <laughs> I'm speaking from a place of privilege, so I have to preface that, right? Like, if shit goes wrong for me, I'm blessed enough to know if I yeah. I got it. So I'm you have. So I'm trying to preface that. I love when people pick up and go and have no plan. But I always say, you sometimes have to have a, a plan. You don't have no Vex money. Yeah. Your parents teach you about Vex, Vex money. money. You cannot leave you the house to have a plan. without some sort of contingency money, man, or if something back. goes wrong. Like, yeah. Especially going to a different will country. Go wrong. If you're going to a different country, I'm telling you, your plans will, it will not be mm. straight to plan. Ever. But the problem with me is when life lifes and humbles you, mm. you're not coming back humbled to ask for things. Yeah, and your sure. first place is okay. If you're gonna ask for all those things, you're gonna go to GoFundMe. Yeah, that's the worst. I feel like I that's like that's low last resort. That's last okay for when, me. When this I, happened, I would have to swallow so, so much, much pride, pride so yeah. much pride <laughs> to even type it out, and I would type it out and still probably just look at it like look at where I know. am and like yo. A couple of years ago, when I was doing the backpack drive, I made a GoFundMe so people could like donate to yeah. help that, and that still bothers. Still bothers. Me. Yeah. Oh my god! Because I was like, why can't I yeah. like? But you know, I don't really have exactly, thousands of dollars exactly. to just be giving yeah. out. Totally, I'm using my like time and resources and what money I can donate yeah. to like, make this happen. But I can't. I when, like, when, listen, when I black got, people got to get to a point where we start asking for help, but not in this way, my friend. You know, at, at least I was giving kids backpacks. When I caught, a, <laughs> when I caught my case in Taiwan, the I remember typing up, you know, the GoFundMe, and I'm like, nah, for real, last resort, mm-hmm. last ditch resort. What can I do here? What can, is there like anything even, I can do? Anything. Even asking family. Can I sell I my dick? Ask family. <laughs> can but I I'm sell like, my dick in Taiwan? I, I, it has to, <laughs> I have to be at my last end. Yeah. Nothing. Like, there's just too much pride. Totally. Well, you know what I'm saying? Even with your situation, did you not have, like, a legal part to it? 
Yes. Yes, but that's so, where you asked. Was, and that's where you asked because like to get yourself out of jail or whatever you were in in Taiwan is a mm-hmm. whole different yeah. story than right. asking to have your like AirPods replaced. You were in an yeah. Airbnb where they let you stay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you were in an Airbnb where they let you stay. But also for this extended stay, you, there's not an Airbnbs you could just downsize. Not enough friends. <laughs> Facts. Not enough friend with money. Not one friend could let you a little 200, 300. <laughs> None. You're asking us Why in inflation they? for $13,000? <laughs> That's crazy. Why couldn't they stay with their family? Because they mentioned their family in that little blurb. They went to decompress. You can't decompress with family. <laughs> Guess mm. what? Compress. Round with family. Want to compress. <laughs> They're compressed. Compress that call. Because <laughs> what? Hey, man. So how many? How much money is now raised? Four thousand. God knows, I'm not checking. Would you like me to check? <laughs> and what are the comments? And the oh, comments? Oh, it went viral on Twitter. <laughs> People are like, "This list is unreal, <laughs> unhinged behavior." A man retweeted it the next day. That tweeted it the first day and says, "I still can't believe this." <laughs> I love us so much. Yo, it was the three headphone types that just really oh. And then when it got to the cash, I said, I'm But like the wiping passport my was this. like number thirteen. Wow. On your list. So I think the virality of it <gasps> made Boosted this person it. lower their, their ask. thing. Their ask is forty five hundred dollars and they were able to get Forty six hundred dollars. Their ask was twelve thousand <laughs> originally. I saw the twelve thousand. I want the boom boom cloth I go on in ya. So wait, I am looking at no. So wait, she brought it down so yes. she could get the money. No, yeah. she got what she wanted. No, she got it down because she was getting fucking yes. <laughs> Manas online. So she but brought Marlin. it down to forty five hundred. Somebody and definitely surpassed. spoke to her. Yeah, I, that wait, loves is and, the list, and is cares her list for her. Still up? It is still on there. You have to scroll down. It's still on there, and it still says a grand total of twelve thousand six hundred and something. But also the the twelve thousand eight hundred. But sorry, also the DP and five pick, cents. The DP pick. Oh, that's <laughs> the. <laughs> that was the first thing that I I you I, don't look like I looked at it and I said wait wait wait. <laughs> This does not look like someone that needs my help. I know. She looks fine. She looks great. She looks incredible. (laughs) You don't look like you need help. (laughs) You couldn't take a picture with like a a piece of cardboard. Like like, (laughs) you don't have savings. I've seen like a big big camera. It honestly looks like when that photo was taken, she was like, "I've been wrong." (laughs) (laughs) Woe is me. (laughs) This isn't very nice. She's in this very serious situation. No, but like if I was in that. Situation, best believe I would have like some kind of photo of me rolling out of a bush. <laughs> yeah, man, like yeah, dead girl, girl, yeah. <laughs> Yo, uh, do you want to tell Kayla the little like part of the little blurb that makes this even? Okay, go ahead, so. please. You, oh. yeah, you read it. What you read it? it. I don't have it. Okay, 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 okay. You don't see. Listen to, to me. Yo, yeah. reputation. Mm. Glory to God. When we talk about mm. reputation. Worth more than money. Okay. Mm. More than money, man. Okay, so it was a, it's, I have to read the whole thing or just part? <sighs> Could you Which skip part? to the part where her stomach was hurting? No, okay, okay. And so she decided to take so a nap. Essentially, not in Jamaica. Thing. She heard something under the I bed. I was invited to a karaoke party, and it was also a birthday party for one of my friends. I went to the party in good faith, and I went by myself. I ate some chicken that ended up upsetting my stomach. <laughs> And I left the party discreetly and headed back to my Airbnb. Once I got back to my Airbnb, everything seemed normal except the curtain to the sliding door uh, to the balcony was blowing in the wind and I thought it was from the window. I really didn't think anything of it. So I went to sit on the bed and when I sat down, I thought I had heard something odd under the bed, but my intuition said, ignore it. I ended up falling asleep. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, she hold her a black intuition. somebody. Guys, this is a serious situation. Someone was robbed. <laughs> Guys, a black somebody here, even a crack, is gonna ignore it. I left the party discreetly. Mm-hmm. Didn't need to know that. <laughs> didn't even need to know about the party. No, because that doesn't make any sense. Yes, okay, I, I made an Irish goodbye. Hey. And I head back to my quarters. When I got back to my quarters, I noticed the curtain was askew. <laughs> Blowing in the wind. Blowing in the wind. Mm. I thought nothing of it. <laughs> my intuition. <laughs> my intuition. <laughs> 
Tell me more of your clues. I heard something under the bed, but intuition told me no. Ignore it. Doesn't intuition tell you something's under the bed? Your intuition tells yeah, you there's something wrong. We're all going to hell, but that's fine. Your intuition need an iOS update. Oh, oh. <laughs> Continue. I, I ended up falling asleep around 11.30 p.m. And when I woke up again, it was 1.30 in the morning. I realized that I had fallen asleep with the lights on. So I took a quick shower, turned off the lights, and went to sleep properly. I always sleep, properly. With, my lap- <laughs> I always sleep with my laptop and phone on the bed. When I arose in the morning, it was 5 a.m. and the laptop and phone were gone, along with my knapsack, which had my studio equipment, all my ID, including my passport and cash, was taken. When I realized I had been robbed, I went out to the living room and was shocked to see the sliding glass door broken into and the curtain covering it. Also, my fanny pack was broken into and all my cash was taken from that. When I went onto the balcony, I looked down and saw that the thief had put a stepladder at the back of the building, climbed up the second floor where I was staying, scaled the balcony, and broke into the sliding glass door. I believe he started stealing from me when I went to the karaoke party, and when I got home early, I startled him, so he hid under the bed and waited for me to (laughs) fall asleep and proceeded to steal all my items off the bed. I am fortunate to be alive, and I am grateful I wasn't hurt or raped because it honestly could have been worse. Wait, what? (laughs) She said what at the end? Raped. Raped? I wasn't hurt or raped because it honestly could have been worse. So okay, here's guys, my thing. Wait, like, hold on. Oh, she no, left discreetly it. by herself. She had, to, <laughs> she had to throw that detail in there. Hey, guys, in the case you're thinking I went home with somebody, yeah. just left know discreetly. I left discreetly. All I got to say and is. Discreetly. All I got to say Why is, did she say that part? <laughs> Look at him unpacking. Mm, you know, that's hold what, on. That's what I'm saying. She left me to discreetly. No, no. Okay, okay. This is all I have to say. And in the case did you point, leave? Right? Discreetly on by yourself. <laughs> yeah, he, he came out from under the bed. <laughs> or was he on top the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how somebody Listen, can. If you're fucked by that, let him bed, rub your My you goodness. You're not okay. listening to that and just in the and the thing that's playing. God, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to be better. <laughs> but. Up in Noah. Do you remember that scene? <laughs> In uh, <laughs> you remember that scene of Fresh Prince of Bel Air when they're all hiding underneath the bed? Oh <laughs> no! Don't you do that! Don't you do that? No, but Yo, if it's somebody is Kim K in Paris. That's what like oh. I only but, thought about. Was anybody? But nobody was sleeping under Kim K's bed. They knocked on her door. Well, this nigga clearly played the long game because yeah. <laughs> she went to sleep at eleven thirty, and, and in between them, t- d- eleven thirty or one thirty, my nigga stayed under the bed <laughs> for two hours. I need to see the bed. waited for her to shower because he's like, oh, she's got to wake up and shower. She's not gonna just yeah, go to bed like that. I gotta wait. Sense. I am chewing everything from when she's in the shower. I'm not waiting Fair. for her to yeah. come back out. Shower, so I could have robbed things. Two hours, I could have robbed things. I could have robbed things while you were there and showed up at the house. I could have boxed you in your but, face. What are you gonna do? But wait a second. Imagine you get up and you're staying up. You're not going back to bed. So what was my you gonna do underneath the bed? Just fam. Yeah. Stay I've there never for woken hours? up. I've never fallen asleep at eleven thirty. Woke up at one thirty and said, "Let me go shower." <laughs> Facts. <laughs> <laughs> like the day is never done. happened. I've just the been day like, is done. "All right, I'm dirty. I'll wake up in the morning." <laughs> I'm a filthy individual. I wake up in the morning and shower. No. I feel like you you shower after you do the deed. You know what I'm saying? But also, <laughs> <laughs> and I then see when you're, where you're and going, when you're going with this, no, he has see, his. He did, this is me. All right, he has it his ha- conspiracy. This yeah. is my. It happens with men all the time where a guy will take a thing home. Oh they'll do the deed. He'll be like, "I'm gonna jump in the shower real quick." Comes out, it's all gone. Everything gone. Everything gone. Wow. Chromas, Chromas, you brought yeah, home. You know, set up things, right? Back door mommy. Sell these guys on, fucking, <laughs> on, on, on a GoFundMe, be like, yo, man, I got robbed when I brought home oh, the tank. You know what Jesus I'm saying? Jesus Christ, man. I just, if someone's under my bed, I just know there's somebody under my bed. Yeah. We have watched horror films. Too many horror films. Yeah, like, I've watched way too many horror films. (laughs) (laughs) I've watched way too many horror films to know how it goes for us black people. So, best believe, if I hear a crickety crack, I'm gone. Yeah. 
in the, so that's in me yeah yeah no there's no black Especially intuition if i check place, i check right? shower yeah. curtains you know your intuition like, or the I do dick too. Told you i check right. shower <laughs> curtains i check it all and I'm, why is the yes. balcony door window <laughs> broken <laughs> I'm, I'm jumping on the bed. I'm not too good to be scared. I'm yeah. so sorry. I am terrified. When I'm, especially when I'm not in my own city. Yes. Oh I my just God. for dramatic effect, wish that story was not told. <laughs> just this say you got robbed and, like, moved on and move yeah. on. I've yeah. seen so many documentaries and murder docs <laughs> and people who lie to like give themselves an alibi. Yeah, and it's so elaborate. And it's usually this they extremely go over the, the detail, overly detailed, yes. sensationalized story that you didn't need to tell us this, this, Keep that, simple, and the third. Stupid. You're trying to create a moment and an emotion by mm. doing all of this. By telling us you went to a party, you're trying to make us feel like you had a carefree night yeah. and you didn't expect anything to happen in know, this yeah. oasis. And now I came home by myself to have a beautiful night and everything's ruined. No, because she had run belly. <laughs> She said but she can't write. Yeah, she can't yeah. write that in the yeah. GoFundMe. <laughs> Run belly, seven hundred and forty-two dollars and eighty-nine cents <laughs> for some gravel. <laughs> or gravel. I need gold-plated gravel. I need the money back from the chicken that I. You shot know, out. this is. But I will say, as a storyteller, that's great story. It was great writing. Like she, yeah, great writing. Transferable the, skills. Yeah, <laughs> this is always what it is, and it's She's like going to sell a best. That's a movie, man. That's a novel. Next, that's the next point. Tiff premiere. She yeah. got this. I I pray she is, what's that it name? actually. Anna? I pray she actually got right. What's that girl's name? Anna something. That white girl that we seen the series on for Netflix. Oh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. She's finding Anna or something like that. It was on Netflix. It was about this white girl who moved to New York and scammed ended up everyone. scammed millions of dollars from like hedge fund people and like all this stuff. And she ended up going to jail, and they put oh. it in like a five episode Netflix yeah. series thing. Did but like did she live her life after scamming these people? Probably. Um, she white. Yeah. Okay. Carla well, Homolka's out here. I can't remember. <laughs> Facts. Carla yeah. Homolka's out here. Mm-mm. Nah, well, good luck to that girl. Though. I'm happy I mean, she made 4K. She, I mean. Uh, That'll listen, get her home. That'll get her I home if, she honestly, wa- if home is where she wants to and come. And a laptop. Jokes aside, I honestly hope that this sure, did okay. happen to her and that yeah. she's okay. Because if. Like yeah, if you get caught lying about something like this, That's man, wild. It's especially in times like these that we're in, mm-hmm. and then like when you factor in the throwing up, like uh, oh, I could have been raped, and it's just all really you know, nasty if it's not true. And I, I'm praying that it's true. Me too. I'm not like she probably did get robbed to some capacity. Maybe. Know? Um, I just don't like the story. Yeah, you know. It's just, I just think it's right. a better way to frame things yeah. and a better way to right. to ask for, for help. help. Yeah, I think if, if it was under different circumstances where you're just like, I need my passport, I need my ticket home, Period. and then I can just figure things out from there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think everybody would have a lot more empathy yeah, for like, the situation. I think the picture threw everyone off. <laughs> I think the story is overly detailed and didn't need to be like. You got robbed. Yeah, and it's I've, not I've everybody's s- responsibility to help you get your belongings back. back. Every like, time. Because how many times have people time. lost belongings before? Like, how many yeah. times have people lost things? You know things? what? You're a grown person. A better thing is like, how can I work for you? If yeah. you need mm. the money, right. I can be willing to do odd jobs, what can mentor. can I do to help you in exchange, exchange for the money? service. Or, hey, I know so many creative people. How, like... Do you have a computer laying around that you don't need? Yeah. Do you have an extra camera yes. that I can have? Or That's, can you use don't know that humility, that but stuff. humility that shines through I did. those I asked, yeah. work, I asked if I can, if people can help me find work in Taiwan. The second yep. thing was, can people fi- help me find um, a way to get a phone in Taiwan? Because like Canadian phones don't work out mm-hmm. there, right? Mm-hmm. Or, like, exactly. North American phones don't work. So those are the two main things I asked for as far as help went. And then I'm like, all right, I can go, I can handle myself from here. I'll scrape the bottom. Like takes no, a level of know. humility to yeah. do that yeah. though. Like you well, can't. That, that this is guy, when I think about it, this guy that I know, he, somebody, he, while he was working, somebody went and robbed his bag full of like camera equipment and all that stuff. He's a videographer. And so he said that for him, he was like, give me a job. Mm-hmm. I will do things. <laughs> To make the money so I can buy the stuff yeah. back, you know. Yes. People ended up saying like, create a GoFundMe because we want to give. I you remember money. that so guy. That, yeah. Yeah. I remember Javon. Yeah. Javon. Yeah. Javon. Yeah. And now he's 
He's doing big things, so man. Good. Doing big things. Yeah. So it's like, it just <laughs> takes a level of humidi- humility, man. And like that, that list just screams narcissism to me, regardless Absolutely. of if you oh, got man. robbed or not. It's no. like, my, it's not my responsibility to fix your life and make everything back to, like, I have my own shit. We all have our but own shit. <laughs> when people get away with being that way and getting things for so long, when they're at their lowest, this is exactly who they sh- how they show up. Ask anyone that they've wronged. Do you think any of those people are surprised yeah. that oh, this yeah. happened? Oh, no. Hell, no. hell no. You know what? And I, when I think about it even more, do you remember um, a couple years now, maybe like, I don't think it was last year, maybe the year before. Don't really remember. Everything's blurry. Um, there was the guy from Toronto who was doing inappropriate things, like sexually assaulting. Uh, Got to be way more specific women. than that, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> In this city. Yeah. <laughs> um, Wolf. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And then he went on that whole social media. Ooh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. For his like social media campaign of why everybody was still he did the whole eye surgery scam but why everybody else was lying when it was multiple women coming forward um saying that like you know he sexually assaulted them or he uh had sex takes of them you didn't it was like all over social media and stuff oh, like that not, and then he it. went and he created this whole series of him talking to the camera saying everybody's lying on him and it was very like narcissistic and they were really good friends at one point so i feel like they just <laughs> learned from the same book <laughs> Jeez. i can't believe you never heard about it amen never heard about it what was yeah. that um i try to stay, that, listen st- especially during uh, what t- when was i try to stay around that Toronto. time yeah. i was like <laughs> avoiding the timeline yeah. for a lot yeah. of, like there's just yeah. too m- at a certain point it got to be too much for me. And I'm a person that like, th- things don't really get to me, mm-hmm. but it was just like every day there's somebody sexually assaulting, yeah, raping, exposing yeah. pictures, fucking the racism, yeah. the, the, the police brutality every day yeah. for like something, two yeah. months. It felt like there was something. Yeah. I'm like, honestly, I can't, I'm playing video games. Yes. <laughs> I, just, I just played video games for like two months and I was off the timeline like that. I was not on it that heavily because I'm like, I can't do this to myself. No. This is too much. Like, And there's still people in it, by the way. Some people can be online and nothing affects them. Like people will send me people getting shot. Yeah. I can't even watch people fight. Yeah. online like uh, and like like when people get hit and their head hits the ground yeah, and shit. That i can't crazy. watch that shit i don't want to manifest that in my life mm-hmm. i don't want those thoughts filling my head i don't want anything to do with that so i try to stay away from it so a lot of that stuff missed me a lot yeah. and i caught up like later on afterwards people were telling me oh this happened and this past this person got exposed i'm like yeah yeah it's just too somebody much somebody did bring me into it because he wanted advice on like how he could help one of his friends and so that's why i really found out about it and then some people that were all close to actually posted about it and mm. and then like i kind of went on a deep dive and i was just like yo there and was like, some the witch hunt stuff that- around that time to be fair because there mm. was one incident where i had to defend a really close friend of mine yeah mm. and the person and that accused them is. had to apologize because they found out the truth oh wow and so it's like some people were and it's not no fault of their own. They're trying to help and mm-hmm. they, they're really like adamant about totally. helping people. Mm-hmm. But there's a certain level, like a lot of people were not equipped to be in those positions mm-hmm. of helping mm-hmm. and not doing the proper digging to find Asking out and questions. confirm mm-hmm. before going out and just be like, this person did this. Someone told me that like, that's a very dangerous thing, especially in these days where you're labeling someone with something. People very rarely hear the get back. Yeah. When it's been repealed or when it's been taken back or when it was a mistake, people yeah. only hear about the incident. The hit, of course. Yeah. So a lot of people can be running around still thinking this of my boy mm-hmm. when it's already been proven otherwise. Mm-hmm. So it's like. I don't always like, I never really step into that because I'm like. No, I, know I, I, like, I see it. Like, I think I follow certain people and it's more so like a support because it's funny. It just feels like we're. The Toronto community still feels like very community driven. Like everybody's somehow in everybody's business. If that Cesspool. makes sense. It's a cesspool. Mm-hmm. Like people were like, oh yeah, I'm from Scarborough too. I remember you. I saw you at Cedar Bay Mall. I'm like, oh God, there must be a nutty story that's See? coming up. See? Like, <laughs> I remember you. I remember that one jam. I'm like, yes. Yep. Oh, no. yep. 
It's why I don't this have why Facebook because I don't want to see photos. This is right. why people don't party properly <laughs> right. in the city. They don't, exactly. They're afraid like, that somebody's going to see them wilding out and doing things too drunk I'm or whatever. I'm sure. Like, I mean, yeah, like it's, it's <laughs> the running joke was, oh God, bad. But the, so like someone's like, oh, like you're a baby daddy's white. And I would just like flip it back to him. I'm like, yeah, because I ran through all the guys in Scarborough. <laughs> 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 Running through the track. I'm kidding. It's me. a joke. It's a joke. But you just get in front of your own narratives. You know what I'm trying. Yeah. Um, but I just feel like Toronto is so, so great in a way that it just feels so community focused because yeah. of levels of like separation. But I also feel terrible because I do work here, but I sometimes feel like I'm on the outside looking in because of just how removed I intentionally try to be. I yeah. mean, sometimes that's, just that's, that's one thing. thing that no, I, I like feel like an asshole, but I intentionally try yeah. to stay out of the shit because I'm like that. It just bruises. It, it won't serve you. It won't serve It does you not anything. evolve. My it does not grow. Twitter timeline is not Toronto. No, like I will only see bits of parts, maybe because of you or like. Jordan Hills might say something yeah. or like literally the only like, two people I follow. Yeah. <laughs> like, or maybe there might be somebody that like I knew from high school that I follow and Ooh. something might come, but, but then I'll have to like go and deep dive if I really want yeah, to know the really whole know the story. Yeah. Because like my timeline is just not really all of that Toronto shit. Yes. And I'm just like, I'm kind of happy about that because it's so you've much seen the world but i do take notes <laughs> yeah. you know there, there, like when a certain lot of those shit people, happens i'm like okay i note it like yeah. i yeah. don't know or i'm like oh y'all still have to do the same bullshit Facts. listen when you are so locked in on your path <laughs> yeah it's no like when people are like oh you're friends with so and so or oh you're aligned with this this person or what do whatever. they do i don't know no but it's literally <laughs> like yeah because i'm on a path so every so where i am headed there is like a magnet yeah. of different types of connections, different types of friends, different types of business ventures. Yeah. So yes, if my life looks different now than what it was then, there you go. And this city is not that big. Like right. it's the biggest little city that I know. <laughs> yes. In terms of like the impact and the reach it has, but then you bring it back to the numbers. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of like Jamaica. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Where it's like, yo, we shouldn't be reaching these yeah. places and making this type of noise yeah being as small as we are and it works for us and against us it yes. works for us in terms of like you can collaborate a lot easier if you are that type of person if that, you choose to and be you that choose person. to be that person there's a lot of connections and relationships that you could foster and do really great things but at the same time it's so small that and reputation is so important mm -hmm. that like Something you did eight years ago can affect you mm -hmm. in this city. And we have a lot of gatekeep keep, keeping here. A lot of old people don't want to leave. Yes. <laughs> a lot of old yeah. people don't want to leave. They don't want to give the hand they don't wanna, down listen, or... No, you get, you lose way, the concert tickets yeah, and something. the festival tickets, the bi line bypass. Well, yeah. You don't want to lose but, all the perks. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is Toronto without the perks? <laughs> like, be very real. Yeah, but it's, it's wild because a lot of friends that... Um, are from the states that come here like oh my god Toronto so amazing I'm like I wish that like we saw ourselves the way that the everybody else, everybody else, else is greener man. Yeah. I think we do I think it's just like it's still a constant competition to be more amazing than the other person ah. without thinking oh we could all just be amazing together at the yeah. same time like if you look at mm -hmm. I always bring it to the UK's black scene they have it figured out yes they got it completely they can figured just, out. Like, all exist. All exist. Mm -hmm. All coexist. They all collaborate. I seen the, there's this one girl. She just started up her podcast probably this year, and the amount of huge names that she's had from the UK on her podcast in the Black community mm -hmm. already, just because they like her. Yes. And they're like, oh, you're gonna go places. You're talented. I want to come on the show. Right. Mm -hmm. Like they believe in her. You know what I mean? And here it's more so people will see you doing something and be, be like, yo, they're doing some sick shit. But they're not going to tell you. Yeah. And they're not going to act like you're doing sick shit when they see you. You know what I mean? It's very rare that you get people that will champion you and not feel threatened in their own yeah. position. And I, I noticed that, that I've gotten a lot of love and I'm so grateful. For Same. That. Yeah. Because I yes. never really expected it. You know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I thought that, you know, people wouldn't say anything. But it's like every time I step out somebody whether i'm just meeting them or i've known them forever yeah. or if they've already told me this they yeah. like continue to encourage me and are yes. proud of me and like even but it's how you in move my times though. right yes. now where it's how you I move. it's how like you I'm move doing nothing they still are like i'm so what proud you mean of you if, if you are a I bad mind person <laughs> and you are doing amazing things nobody would yeah. say anything to you facts true it's yeah. just because of the way you move 
that people gravitate towards mm-hmm. you. They, they, people do yeah. not want to give people props that they feel don't deserve it. Yes. Yeah. It, no matter how talented you are, if your personality is shit, they're like, he doesn't deserve it. Right. Yeah, your, your work says it all. You don't got to scream out and demand it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yes. Certain people try and demand it and don't hey, get it. Hey, you just good people. <laughs> you know and consumer knowledge is like, it's grown so much. Like yeah. people can see through the bullshit and the facades. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so, it's so much more transparent. Mm-hmm. from artists to to audience these days so like, let me ask you this then do you accept the love that comes your way no i do i love when like when people say stuff to me like i appreciate so much mm-hmm. did you but give you yourself say, that yeah, love but do you give yourself oh that no, love? No, no, no no i don't i don't mm. give myself she that talks love. about that a lot yeah. she, she doesn't give herself <laughs> as much props as why she should. <laughs> uh because i don't think that it's enough you know you're a capricorn too yeah we yeah. never think we're always it's chasing like, we're always it's, it's like pre- oh we need more we need what more what you're doing like, is yeah. just like what, standard because base. i already had like a dream for myself mm-hmm. and when i accomplished something i'm like i was already meant to do that yeah, yeah, i knew yeah, that yeah, i, knew that I, would, like, I yeah. knew i was gonna do it exactly. everybody else didn't know that yeah. exactly. do it because yeah. they didn't see that for me but i knew i was gonna do that and so yeah i never give myself enough love and i'm never necessarily like okay with everything that is going on mm-hmm. or isn't going on i try to like work at it and sometimes i'm good and sometimes i'm not yeah yeah right it's now, very it's real really. though because because yeah. when when yeah when people are like don't you feel amazing about what just happened i'm like no yeah i feel good <laughs> that it happened but this is but, also yeah. part of the plan this was so part of the plan it's supposed to happen yeah and if i so for me to be like oh you know it's like no nah. i think people yes. also like it's new to them yeah mm-hmm. whereas it was an idea for you for years you know what I mean? Like you've been working towards whatever they saw you do well in advance. So you already knew what the outcome would be, mm. how it would go, what you would need to do to prepare for it. And now you're in it. You're like, okay, now that's done. Next thing. What's the next thing? Yeah. Like, and it's I, like, I, yeah, you just like, got to be present a little yeah. bit sometimes with these moments. Because like, for example, the time I did the, what was it Bing Bong? Yeah. And Uncle Phil was there and watched. And he comes up to me. He's like, yo, you, you, you killed it. Like, Bob, I'm like, this is fucking like full like i had to be present for a moment where i'm like yo i grew up watching fresh prince uncle phil was like a dad figure yes now the new uncle phil (laughs) is here (laughs) watching my show and tell me i'm I'm like this is i gotta just really sit in this moment for a little bit and other times i would just be like yo this is so dope thank you man appreciate Mm -hmm. you coming out and just keep it moving like that was kind of cool like (laughs) but i i I stopped for a second and really like when i got in the car i was like yo like that's crazy yeah when you're (laughs) used to greatness you don't realize how great you are until someone great realizes your greatness and then you on top of that you're like other people haven't recognized i'm great for so long it's like (laughs) (laughs) well that's that's where i think (laughs) i'm from and like where i come from sometimes it's just like you, for me, I just think it's like this weird thing of like, what is life and purpose? I don't believe that you you can ever dream something you've never seen. Facts. So like yeah. you've so we all know, right? Like mm-hmm. I, I like I know where I'm going next yeah. because I and I, it's it's not a dream. It's like fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So it's just like I'm walking around this world and kicked out of my schools and going to adult learning center. And I'm just like, yeah, it's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Mm-hmm. Then it's just like you just you're naturally just walking into the next step, walking into the next step. And you had a lot of steps. There was a Winnipeg. lot of steps. Yeah, Winnipeg. <laughs> Manitoba. BC. <laughs> BC. Came back. But then we're also like, and I have this, this conversation with my mom all the time of the idea of shame. Mm. I was the bad kid, mm-hmm. right? So I wouldn't have made anybody proud if I still stayed in like certain ways and yeah. with anger and whatever mm-hmm. and things that I never dealt with. So I have that that I carry with me. Mm-hmm. And so now when I'm re- when I'm in my new self and this evolved person, I have all these people congratulating me and telling how amazing and nice and, um, and great I am. Imposter syndrome yeah. kicks in. And there's in. this imposter syndrome that kicks yeah. in. Yeah. But then there's this like level of like discernment of like, do you really mean that or are you because I'm still living with the shame yeah. in the back are you just telling me I'm nice and great and all these things because I'm on TV? Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's a weird thing. That, <laughs> it's a weird. Because you never know how people view success yes. outside of yourself. Like, Whereas you know how like, you view it. I don't want you to think I'm successful because of what I do. Mm-hmm. I need you to view me as successful of, like, you got to understand, like, where 15-year-old K was. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, and that, to me, is, like, the success mm-hmm. for me. It's very tough for people to make that connection. And, and they don't, but they don't and know. Yeah. Appreciate you in totality. Like, it's usually, like, 
oh, I want to do that. So you're doing that. Congrats. Congrats. You yeah. You're, you, you wanted life. Mm -hmm. like <laughs> but, people, but people that might be like new to you guys, right? They don't yeah. know the individual journey or the struggle or the things that like went into it. They just see like the final product, the social media, it's the highlight. Mm -hmm. yep. But they don't know what's actually gone into not even like the tangible things, but like the work, the self work, the shadow work, the things mm -hmm. that like, you know, you have to deal with the sacrifice, you know, to be here, which is the best part. Honestly, this is the, this is the work. <laughs> yeah. Like the process of, of building everything is like, the best part. And kids don't want to work anymore, Marlon. Okay, Kim. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Gray, I'm not like, Kim Gay. <laughs> no, listen. Uh, it's so funny because I was having this conversation with someone. Um, and, and it's true. Sometimes I do see differences in how we used to work and hustle mm -hmm. and how, like, the younger generation used to work yeah. and hustle. And so sometimes people are like, I'm done at 5 o'clock. I am not getting emails after 5. And I'm like, mm -hmm. well, damn, we're going to talk about work management. Mm -hmm. y'all." Like, like, it's just a different shift. And yeah. I think sometimes, like, I have to check myself because I get, like, what do you mean you're clocking out at 5 o'clock? Yeah. I never, back in my day, <laughs> I didn't clock out till this shit yeah, was yeah, done. Yeah. What yeah. do you think that, like, but then you're like, no, but, like, we all work so boundaries. hard yeah. so that they can live this exactly. life. <laughs> yeah. It's wild. I hate that. Yes. <laughs> I, I know. fucking hate paving <laughs> the way for you niggas. But think about it. I there's hate other, it. There's other people that came before you that paved the way. And, 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 I, and I, they should hate, hate me too. They hate should us. hate me too. <laughs> I Listen, Cardinal, all you, all yeah, you OGs, like, <laughs> I get it if you don't like me. But now because I would point, hate I'm yeah. like, am I the get off my lawn person? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I see other podcasts doing some incredible things and <laughs> taking like bits and pieces of what we do what and we take pieces bits and pieces of what other bigger podcasts do and create and it's just like man you realize how much easier you're making it for other people <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like I don't like it. Like, <laughs> there's a part of you envies like yes. how easy you've made it look and yeah. how yes. how much more tips and tools they're getting so early on. It's just like if when we see kids mm -hmm. with TikTok and we're like, yo, if I was in fucking high school right. and I had TikTok, oh what my God, you I know what I would have been? And Because of that, I stopped caring to be first in things. Yes. You know, I'm like, I don't need to be the trailblazer. You know what? You do the work and then I'll catch on. Sorry. See, it's so hard for me to jump on waves. Yeah. I, every part of what I've done, I've always, this is, I'm the first one doing it. Yeah. Like, I, I've, YouTube, I was like, I didn't know anybody's YouTuber. As you say I'm that, like, I look at my Crocs like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, things like that, yeah. I, I'll jump on it. I'm not a fashion person. I'll jump on it yeah. all those ways. But, like, when it comes to what I do, like, I don't think... I don't want to be a person that's following anybody's footsteps. Mm. I want to be making my own footprints in the sand. And so it's very difficult for me to like, there's so many things I have interest in that I will never do publicly. Mm -hmm. I won't DJ, even though I desperately yeah. I want to yearn so to DJ so badly. Yeah, Same. it's so funny you talk about. I have about a controller. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Give it to me. I'm like, I'll buy it. Because, <laughs> because everybody's because everybody's doing yeah, it. Everybody so DJ's popping you, out for you, no you reason. You use you use the uh, analogy of footprints in the sand, but that also implies that you're carrying people. You know mm. what I'm saying? I mean, so. well, a lot but of no, times but it I also am. goes back <laughs> no? to this idea of a soft life. When you mm. break yeah. into something, breaking comes mm -hmm. with pain. Pain, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why not ease into some things? I mean, like shit. I didn't in involve. Uh, wow, I can't even talk. I did not invent golf. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at golf, but people have golf before me. Yeah. But fuck, I'm gonna be up and I'm being there. I'm gonna be <laughs> yeah. in that space. I'm gonna yeah. take all the things that I want to do publicly as a career and just do them yes. privately as a hobby. I think that's what it's gonna be because it's like, first of all, I don't have the time yeah. to even just attach do more things. things. So that's the biggest deterrent. Cause I think if I had the time, shit, I'd be out here mm -hmm. DJing. <laughs> but yeah, DJing photography, like there's just too many movie making. There's so many different things that I wanna do that I'm just like, well, yeah, especially it, photography. I've been wanting to do photography for I'm like not eight a photographer. Years, and I'm like, I just like to capture moments. Yeah. That's there's too many photographers camera. out here. But I'm this like, is the yeah. thing, like photography and even DJing, learning mm -hmm. how to DJ, DJ, those are perfectly fine hobbies. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people who work really hard don't have enough hobbies. Yeah. Mm. So it's fine for you to learn those. Creating movies, that kind of goes hand in hand with your acting yeah. and your 
comedians. Yeah. Stuff. Well, that's why so I don't even. That is like a career step that's just going to naturally happen when it's time. That's why I don't happen. do the Twitch thing anymore mm. because Ooh. it's a video games is a hobby for me. Mm. Right. And now I, I started doing the Twitch thing during the pandemic and I'm just like, I mean, it's cool talking to people and, and you know, people watching you play games or whatever. I'm just like, I, I feel like I'm working now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and yeah, video really. games is my escape yeah. usually. Like, this is yeah. where I usually go to decompress and ground myself mm. <laughs> without being robbed. But I feel like we don't talk about hobbies. I mean, not at all. I like, don't think people do. People just say as hate, hobbies. I hate that I don't have hobbies. Yeah. I think about it all the time. I'm always yeah. like, why can I not have a hobby? Like, what do I like enough to just like try? Try, you know? Yeah. Like, what if that's your hobby? I kind of want to pick up playing <laughs> pondering hobbies. Yeah. <laughs> My hobby is no, not but then that but that sparks this thought of like maybe a lot of people actually what they do are actually hobbies. They just thought that they had to make money off. Well, it. this no, is no, what no. everybody's doing now. You know yourself. This is what everybody's doing now, which I. My fucking stand up joke, the influencer joke, <laughs> Jesus. Where I'm just like, yo, everybody thinks they're an influencer now just because they what they do they're good at yeah mm -hmm. just because you're good at something doesn't mean you're an influencer doesn't mean you have to be one mm -hmm. or it doesn't mean you have to mean or cr create a brand yeah like, mm -hmm. you can just do you <laughs> yeah and Everyone's that's like, fine what's the, brand? what's the brand what's my brand yeah, yeah. no nah, nothing, me nothing. with me i noticed i turned my hobbies into a career mm -hmm. in terms of like i loved obviously busting jokes i love podcasts i love listening to podcasts i'm like let me do a podcast right i love watching youtube videos let me do youtube videos but there's certain things you got to keep to your for yourself yes yeah. or you'll just be what everybody else wants you to be mm -hmm. i just don't see how you can really be like i am this person and not have the world agree with you entirely like for i should be able to say i am this person and people go really Yes. Be like, that you ass? Like this? You like that? Wow. Didn't like, know. These days, there's nothing people don't know about there's nothing you. sacred anymore. <laughs> like, if I, if I was dating, if I was single and dating these days, I would go to a girl's Twitter and just, it, the, whatever girl I'm dating, just read the Twitter, go in the likes, and now I know you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before but that's it was why like, dating is so hard now for me, because mm -hmm. people think they know me. Yeah. Oh, that's... That's that. another episode. You Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. No, that's that's uh, especially when you're in the position you're in. Yeah. Where yeah. people are like, oh, you see the vulnerable sides of her too. She's so transparent. <laughs> and Please. it's like there's so much more to you. Yeah, so there's much just more. so much more. And, and then, then they don't they don't feel out. they don't want to do the work to actually get to know you because they already feel like they, they feel like they, they do. An and I'm like, so you read my Twitter. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. On an opinion of, it's an opinion of other people, not an opinion of myself. Yeah. What people yeah. do is they see that and they group it with other opinions with other people that they know and they yeah. go, oh, you're that person. Or like a date turns into like a freaking sports. Oh, pop no. Quiz. Niggas oh, be asking no. you. I don't go on has dates. Has anybody asked you, not like, kidding. has anybody, have you ever been on a date and you're like, this guy's a gambler? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe not. No, I actually, I don't go on dates. Ever? No, yeah, ever. Period. Period. I've on never, purpose I've or never been on a date? On purpose? Like, yeah, on purpose. Why? Because I'm an awkward person. Mm. <laughs> has like, to be like I'm one of those natural awkward. meets. Yeah, it has to be. And maybe that should. And I'm not saying like I've been on the apps or whatever. Like it's fine, but like maybe I just like have this like old school like belief that like my person's gonna just, just I'm gonna out. meet yeah. them. Kismet. <laughs> just like trip over them. some <laughs> shit like that. Serendipity. Like, yeah, like I don't yeah. I don't know, but I'm also I think in this like great place of like. I don't really want to date right now. The more you stay by yourself, the I harder it is to date someone. Yes. Yeah, so like I like when I broke up with my ex, um, I think there was so much fear of doing this life alone. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, wait a second. Alone is actually pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> like I, 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 I don't ha I wait for anybody. Like obviously I have my son, but like I'm learning so much about who I am as a person. And mm -hmm. I'm like figuring out what I like to do and how I like to chill and I'm going on my own I pick up and go anytime yeah. I go on my own solo vacations and so now it's like how the fuck am I gonna work somebody into this shit now especially right. with women you guys right. you guys when like, you guys have a partner you're like a sponge mm -hmm. everything yeah. your partner does you start just absorbing and like becoming like Kourtney Kardashian <laughs> yeah we start dressing the same just start, you start absorbing things and just like 
taking up part of their the yeah. slang or language or, or jokes and all that you become so much of this other person that yeah. when you do Some, become most times single you, forget you kind of forget yourself. who you yeah. were you know what yeah. I mean and it yeah. takes a while to get back to that mm -hmm. and when you do fall in love with being by yourself it is very like you gotta beat my solitude Right. You got to beat my... Do you know how much fun I have dolo, my nigga? <laughs> like, like, do you know you got to be better. You got to yeah. be better than that? That's tough. Like, if you think about your room, think about someone beating your room. <laughs> That's yeah. tough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> your room's like your sanctuary. You're like, if you so are better... Fun. If I want to be with you more, I want to be in my room. Yeah. That's mm. got to make sense. Like... It's 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 very interesting when you when you mix in the dating with uh, like just how people are approaching their life. No, I was gonna mm. say their work, but just their life these days. It's so different. Like yeah. the dynamics have shifted more than we the can bar. even think. Like the bar is raised, the bar is lowered. It's lowering <laughs> and raising at the, at same, the same time. time. <laughs> it's insane. It's, we it's don't know so what crazy. we're doing. <laughs> like yeah, no, it's a lot. It's a lot. But man, we've kept you. <laughs> for a very long time. What time is it's it? It's 11 o'clock. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, for guys. For coming through. Thank you for being great. Thank yes. you for Thanks. being who yes. you are. Continue we appreciate everything Live you life. Do. Right yes. back at you. I'm living life. Honey. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I love that for you. Thank you. Yes. yes. And um, next time Raptors win a championship, I want to be on the bus. Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Another week, another classic. I'm Marlon. You I'm are now tuned in to the greatest And that was the extra great. Scoop, scoop. We're here for the jokes. We don't do things lazy.